got jokes over there. How y'all doing? Welcome to episode two of I Mean No Disrespect. Here with two lovely ladies, and we mean no disrespect. Introduce yourselves. How what's going on? I'm Lonnie Love. Lonnie Love. And you? Coco. Coco. Coco Red in the house. What's going on, ladies? What's going on? How are you? I'm good. Thanks for asking. Can't complain. Don't do no good. Isn't tonight a full moon or something? I mean, we still got the full moon energy around. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know nothing about that. I'm, I'm interested. I want to learn. Mm-hmm. About the full moon? Yeah, just about the moon cycles and the energies that emit from the moon. They say they influence our behaviors and things like that. So I'm, I'm interested. So I'm very strange because I thought you would be into the Zodiac. You get to give me that whole yeah, Zodiac. I, I, I know I, your I birth sign. See? I don't know any of those. Are we stereotyping? I, I, <laughs> I, no, for real. We are. Because I assume that because you're about health, love, Yeah, and I'm thinking she know the whole and Zodiac and chart, and chart out. This conversation that we had about you being vegetarian mm-hmm. and the history behind it. I naturally assumed that that's why I got to learn. Is that wrong out here, though? <laughs> That's why I got to learn. Okay. Is that wrong out here, just looking at people and just assuming they supposed to know some shit? If you're wrong, it's a lot of wrong people because most everybody I know, they just assume that I know stuff like that. They be so, like, hurt sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> For real. I, don't know, but I thought I was going to learn that from you, baby. We could learn together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that's right. <laughs> Yeah, I did get that whole earthy, and I, I, I don't I, know about the moon either. I guess because naturally, people that are into that uh-huh. are you tying into yeah. that. You know what I mean? You Real should, rap. Yeah, you should. And there is a whole connection. Like my main thing is herbs, you know, and uh, you know body work, energy work, but herbs is the main thing. And there's definitely um, like books on astrology and herbs. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a connection. I don't know what writer it was. It was some Caucasian brother of ours that said, uh, when you pull on one thing in nature, you realize that everything is tied together. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you you start working on one thing, you realize, like, this is just like somebody who want to do tea. So guess what? You're going to have to be concerned with the whole blood system and nervous system. And, like, you're going to have to be connected. Everything's connected. But that's even me still. I, so my background starts so I, I'm like you, health, wellness, and beauty mm-hmm. as well too. I started off life starting growing up. Mm-hmm. From life starting to remind you I did karate, I swam, my parents came me in here. Led from that into the legal field. Led into that to doing here, but I used to dance and do different things. So now, you know, as an adult, when you see how things are all, because it just ties into who I am, so that exactly. health, wellness, and beauty. You know what I mean? We all transition. We don't understand how it all comes together as we, you know, as we progress and get older, they, they all tie in. Everything's all connected. And what up, people? Right. That's what they say, six degrees of separation. You ain't never know that this friend and this friend across the world. Right. Like, what? How you know? You it's a big mean? small world, so yeah, you know, y'all gotta be mindful how you treat people because you run into oh, them on oh, the yeah, humble. I thought about that. People yeah. always be like, "Oh, well, you know, we may never ever see this person again." You know what I'm saying? I used to say that all the time. Like, I might not ever see this person again, but so many times, people who I thought I would never see again, you see them again. Mm-hmm. You know, and so even the customer service people that you be, you know, because mm-hmm. my sister does customer service. Or she used to, and people be cussing her out, like just mad that they can't pay their bills. I'm sorry, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, and then you know, but you think you'll never see these people again, and, and most times you won't see the, the customer service representative. <laughs> but just in, in life, you just shouldn't do wrong because mm-hmm. yeah, you might see. I call it a single servant friend. I got that from uh, what's that movie, Fight Club, where it's like you meet somebody on a plane. That's like the only time you're going to probably ever see them again. So mm-hmm. while y'all talking on that flight, that's a single serving friend. But mm-hmm. shit, it's a big small world. You just might see that person again. So that's how I have with Big C too. It was real strange because I met him in the world. And then come to find out I'm in his store buying something. And it was from his mother. mother. Mm-hmm. So the whole time and he just walked in the store on the humble. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, what's up? What you doing here? It's like, oh, it's my mom. I'm like, what? 
And the whole time, his mom had a store on Main Street. The whole time over there buying shirts from her, had no but idea so, that was his mom. But sometimes things are connected in a strange way because, like, I've dated someone and have met like their family or whatever and like we break up and guess what that one particular family member who I connected with that was what the connection was for it wasn't for the mm -hmm. original connection you know what I mean sometimes we have to understand why we meet people and how it's, it's you know it's different and we're all connected in a certain in, in different ways mm -hmm. right you're all here for a reason it's to find that mm -hmm. purpose and and all that but like you said everything is connected at the end of the day i'll be listening to this dude at night to kind of meditate and that's one of the things you talk about the universe and all of this stuff that we be so worried about and not realizing that we made from the same dust and the stars and the earth so it's all just really just one thing we just in a physical form interacting with each other so it's kind of strange but so the top one of the topics of the day really was this semi relationship, singles, interacting, dating and things like that. So the first one I wanted to get into is monogamy because that's the tried and true, typical societal way. You know, you grow, you meet, you marry, that's it, and have kids and rinse and repeat. But we in the two thousands where so many different um, types of relationships going on. So, what's your thoughts on monogamy? Is it still something you practice as your number one thing you support? You're into other things? Have you tried other things? Or, I mean, we'll get into a few more other things, but let's let's start right there, though. Anybody, anybody. Don't anybody, anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to have to be Yeah, have I tried anything? Not willingly. Did I try anything else? <laughs> you, you were entangled. You were thrust in <laughs> by finding no out. I was blindsided. <laughs> I'm in a whole double relationship. <laughs> How did that go? But, okay, but so you typically prefer monogamy, but you found out it was such and such. Right? Yeah, I always have gone for monogamy. But I always have had this belief as well. There's only two statuses, married or single. So mm -hmm. if you're not married, you're single. So all these people playing married while they single, uh -uh. you can play all you want to. I know I'm single. <laughs> um, that's real deep. That's wild too because mm -hmm. you know, some people who are single and they're like, well, no, we're committed single. We're just moving towards marriage. Okay, yeah, but for me, yeah. I'm married or single, and if okay. I'm single, then everybody is my friend, you know uh, what I'm saying? And I, I taught my son this, too, like, because you don't want to break a girl heart and be telling her, I love you, and you the only one, and this, and this, and that. No, don't do that. Just be for real, baby. You my friend. I'm not ready for a committed relationship, like, you know, like marriage type of thing. I'm not ready for that. I'm, I'm young, so, or whatever the case may be. For me, I'm single because no one has presented themselves to me as like the one who will sit me down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I need a man who's gonna like sit me down. Like I'm a very resourceful person. I got my own things going on or whatever, but I still want a man to provide and to protect me. To provide and to protect me. And if I feel that from a man, then okay, I'm gonna sit down, I'll, I'll marry that guy and, and all that. Um, and I want monogamy, but until that time, I'm single, and I don't. I'm not a fan of like casual sex and stuff like that. I'm a fan of abstinence, years of abstinence, you know. And it just is what it is, and it's not fun, you know what I'm saying? But, and, and sometimes, you know how people be like, "Girl, you got an attitude. You need some dick." You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It be the truth, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you really do be needing that in your life, but. You know, you can't just have anyone, so it's just like you just have to just be patient and be, you know. But the spiritual attachments is real. They are. They you are. Get they connected are. connected to people's past and history and all that stuff. So, what are you what are your thoughts? What you like? about monogamy? No, um, kind of what Noni said in terms of she said there's two aspects for her: single, meaning that 
up until I'm assuming engagement. Yeah. She's single. So um I, I I definitely agree um with with what she said in adulthood. Um when I was younger of course, you know, this is my boyfriend. I'm too old for boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, it's either like she said, we're we're single or you're married. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna be in this middle playing games, building, investing. See, we make a lot of deposits, but sometimes we don't get our withdrawals back. It, 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 you have to be equally yoked. You know what I mean? And if we're not to that point and to that understanding, then that's why I said yes. However, we were talking about dating. Yeah. So Cause... now you can date multiple people. Now there comes to a point where you may have that one person that you may be more interested in and in you know, than the others, and you make a commitment to them, but you can still stay open to that. So I'm kind of contradicting what I'm saying as well, too, mm -hmm. but making a commitment to that one person, if you know that, okay, I see a future, you know, with them, you're still single, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But you've made that commitment to that person because you guys are on the same page, you know, getting to know each other, because shit, we're still getting to know ourselves. Right, right. You know what I mean? And it and it takes time and as long as you know that two people are committed to doing that mm -hmm. and a lot of times we make shit up in our head and we just fucking a lot of people out here just fuck around with people. No, I just saw some real shit knowing that because they either searching for love or searching for whatever wasn't fulfilled in their path, there there's a lot of people who've never been alone by themselves. Mm -hmm. They go from one relationship they left their parents' house to one relationship. From that, that didn't work. A couple months later, or maybe a couple weeks later, or whatever, they went to the next one. Mm -hmm. When you want to get to know who you are right. and where you come from, and you know all that type of stuff. So they that's kind they, of that's funny. probably that person's particular journey because that do happen. But my thing that's um, both of what y'all said sound wild to me because as much as y'all women. When y'all dating, y'all don't want the other person to think they single where he's still out looking at other girls mm -hmm. while y'all are supposed to be talking. So y'all got y'all weekly hangout time and stuff like that. So what I'm hearing is that y'all don't mind if he's having weekly hangout time with someone else until he say, you know what, you're the one of the two to three to four that I'd like to proposed to let's do this for marriage is that what i'm what, hearing what i'm saying is like okay let's say i'm friends with somebody right and we just friends so i don't know what they're doing with their time i ain't got nothing to do with that you know what i'm saying but and what about when they graduate to i'm, I'm getting to go. that part right <laughs> <laughs> so let's say, oh, 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 oh. Yeah. say we friends right and then we chilling they doing anything i'm doing my thing i don't know you work you do whatever so, and then, but what if I start just feeling them like I start falling for them or whatever? Like, I think this the one, you know what I'm saying? And that that's going to happen way more times than you really find the one, right? But, you know what I'm saying? You think that, okay, I really like him. I I'm, 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 I think I can, I can sit down for him. Mm -hmm. I think I can, like, you know, I would listen to him. You know, mm -hmm. I could respect him mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be. Uh, I always had this saying, like, I can't lay down with a guy that I can't look up to. So you got to make sure that the man is respectable. Somebody can lead you somewhere and, you know, who you can listen to. Um, but anyway, so what I'm saying is, like, you you, you, you date people. You're, friend, you're friends with people. You go out to lunch. You have fun. Go get a pedicure together. Get a massage. Do whatever y'all do together, right? Mm -hmm. And if you feel like this man is the one, then you... He, it doesn't have to be a formal engagement or something like that, but y'all start saying like, okay, we're going to do this. You know what I'm saying? However that may work out for y'all, you know. Um, I'm you just talking about the you, verbalizing of it? The or verbalizing just the natural action. moving towards? Well, the action. I'm, it's, the act, it's all of that put together, but where I feel like a lot of people get off, a lot of people are not honest with themselves to be honest with other people. You know what I'm saying? And that's the same thing that I think we were having a conversation before she walked in about is that there's, sometimes there's no clear lines of communication. One of your topics was as you're talking to one, one person, you meet somebody else, you know what I mean? 
Do you have that conversation with that person that you've been dealing with and say, hey, I met somebody new? Yeah. And rightfully so, you should. And allow that person to to figure out whether they still want to do it. But a lot of times we like to play our cards and manipulate yeah. the situation. Because you see, never want to. Because you never really kind of want. So we really got to be real with ourselves. A lot of times we're not. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. And that's what happens 90% of the time. You and in all these situations, we having sex? No, let's say not even sex is involved. Mm-hmm. Because if we're not having sex, I don't feel like I owe anybody no explanation about who I'm having lunch with, who took me shopping, who this, who that. If we're not having sex, but I don't owe But if we having sex now, then that means I done thought that I'm falling for you. I think you're the one, like, you you know, we on that level. We on that track mm-hmm. where I think that we going towards marriage. So you figure but, but after that, sex is an explanation? But, but I yeah, think if, that, you, if you done had sex with somebody... It, in God's eyes, y'all already married. So, you know, mm-hmm. you owe them something or y'all need to have some conversations <laughs> but, like that. But, but then that's an individualized opinion because a lot of people don't feel that way about that right, right, right. either. There's some people, not, yeah, some that's, people don't that's, feel that sex is sacred like that where they see it like that. So that's that's your perspective. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, of things. A lot of people, sex is very casual. Yeah, that's why yeah, they're not right looking at the head. energy exchange. They're not looking it. at the deeper because they haven't reached that part of themselves. Mm-hmm. They ain't got there yet. Mm-hmm. So you have to know that, like I said, you have to be equally yoked. You know what I mean? And to be able to, because let me tell you, you could be a woman that meets two different men, right? Mm-hmm. And you can have the same perspective. Hey, we single. You know, don't ask me about whatever, whatever. One man that might be okay with. Mm-hmm. And the other man that might not. You know what I mean? So it just depends on the type of person you attract yeah. and stuff like that. Because some people would deal with it and some wouldn't deal with it. Like, hey, I'm dating you. We going out on a regular. I don't like you saying other people. Regardless of whether y'all mm-hmm. might be on that level or not. Bro, you, right. You know if you know what? If somebody came to me like that, you don't like me seeing other people. Okay, well... After Make how long stop. though? After how long is Make that? Let me stop then. But, and, and Do that, everything and I need. Set me down yeah, then. Yeah, and, that, and that's where <laughs> no, I that's, am with my situation. Yeah. It was just like, shoot, I've been dating both of y'all for this long. Nobody made it to So my, my two dudes I was dealing with, and okay. before my baby daddy and a young dude, whatever, they ended up meeting each other. Not on purpose, you know what I'm saying? But, um,. Yeah, so now both of them mad, but now both of you, mind you, both of them did they ask load of shit too, you know? What I mean? But there's no commitment, so why why are you mad at me now? True. I you get what I'm saying? Take it needed to. It's why? hurt. That it's hurt. It's hurt. But yeah, it's hurt. But why? Everything in life, whatever. We all Men have choices. Take that. I know. But look, we all have choices. Women can't either. So it's, I no, think women can't some... either. It's both. But mm-hmm. listen, we all have choices. People don't understand. We all have choices. So mm-hmm. when you make a choice, when you're dealing with someone in a relationship, and that could even be friendship. When we talk about relationships, it could be all types of shit. Business relationships, friendships, uh, lovers. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter. But once one person makes a decision, it leaves no choice but to make a decision. Yeah. You get what I mean? And from off of that decision, oh, now people say, oh, you're acting funny or whatever. Now they're going to make a decision. So there's always yeah. a cause and effect. There's always a reaction to, no to to certain things. And it's like you said, if you don't like it being like that, do something That's about what, okay. it. Okay. So when is the sit me down come into play, though? Nobody wanted to sit me down. So that's where they end up in a situation. How like long that, do you, you know need to sit down? Because, okay, say he came to you a month into it because while y'all dating, the whole premise is now. You're still out there in the world taking fielders. You know, right. you don't got your blockers up. You're still taking fielders. So a month into it, two months, six months down the road, you, a dude just, oh shit, okay, how you doing? And now you listening to that. He come and say, whoa, you still taking fielders? No. And you're saying, you didn't sit me down. I still can take fielders. So at what point I'm can just, he still sit down? We're grown, we're adults, communication is, if you can't communicate with me and we can't have established lines and boundaries like we, you were just talking about, like um, being in a marriage and letting your your uh, spouse have a side or whatever, whatever, some people in their marriage, that's okay because they have openly communicated that 
and mm-hmm. they're they're okay with that. They they have established their boundaries, their foundation is solid, and they're good with that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And some others, you know, it just like I was saying, it depends on who you with. Each relationship is going to require something different out of you. You all have strengths and weaknesses, so you have to learn that person to know. Okay, well, he's not the type of guy to take out the trash. Uh, do X, Y, and Z. He likes to cook, and I don't cook. So okay, now this is the person who you. Every relationship is different, and every person that you end up with, or however that you deal with, is going to be different. And your your communication and your boundaries, or whatever, may differ depending on the person that you're dealing with. Because so you, being you women know. and knowing women, and y'all having conversations and stuff like that with other women, that's the rule of thumb women are having out here, where I'm you're different. dating, you're you're still uh, single until you got a ring, or you're still. Letting the person that you're having them, I'm having the premise of y'all weekly hangouts. You know what I'm saying? This person who call you up, you at work, y'all take the time and answer the phone. Woo woo woo. Yeah, I'm single until I'm married. Until you decide yeah. to sit and down that and, per- and that, that person, that dude can do the same thing too without you feeling some type of way. I didn't say I wasn't gonna feel. We all have feelings. I ain't gonna say yeah, but you're gonna deal with it. Way, but I ain't got no choice but to deal with it. For me, mm-hmm. it's like I'm not going to. If I'm having sex with a person, that means that I'm gonna feel some kind of way. If we're not having sex, I ain't feeling no type of way. So okay. if we just friends, and you whatever, are you whatever, stipulating that pre pre sex post sex? Yes, if I start having sex, I'm gonna feel some kind of way. No, no, I'm talking about. <laughs> you're gonna feel some. Are you, are you telling are you that first? You telling that? that, that, that yeah. Yes. If we have sex, yes. that means yes. I'm, right. I'm letting you know, yeah. and, and I'm just saying too, like oh. when you was talking about the um, the um, side chick. No, for me, like the sit me down part. Oh. Okay, so. It could be day one. You heard of love at first sight. If he come with everything that I ever wanted this day one, he talking about, look, girl, I don't want you to talk to nobody else. I'm like, sit me down then. Okay? You uh-huh. Do this, do this, do this, do that. I'm not, that's not saying we having sex that day and he my husband that day, but go on and sit me down. You know, day one. So it's not about a time limit. It's about a man standing up and doing what and he's supposed what to he do. Wants. And knowing what he wants. Yeah. And saying, look, I don't want her to play out here no more. Somebody right. else might sit mm. her down. Right. No, don't get me wrong. I totally agree with that. That's good. That's adult stuff. You yeah. know, I, I like straightforward just but, just, a, just but talk. a lot of people are not adult and yeah. not, not able to even have conversations. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And because of selfish motive, won't sit down and have conversations because they're tied into this or tied into that or mm-hmm. you know what I mean? A lot of people are not a lot of people not true with themselves about where they are and who they a lot of people don't know what they want. Mm-hmm. Let's start there. And yeah, that's so. what a lot of people they ride in the fence. Most people in life are riding the fence. They do not know yeah, what they want in life. Mean, yeah. Okay. And especially men. I'm sorry to say it like that, but especially <laughs> men. No, I'm I'm honestly I don't know. You have a lot of women who are Focus, know exactly what they want, what they're looking for, you know. Whereas I think, and that's why they say, you know, women mature, faster you know, than faster men. than men. Yeah. Because we're a little bit more focused, focused and driven. Yes. Uh-huh. And we're built for, you know, to be a helpmate and, and family. And once you connect, you, you you thrive together in relationships and things like that. But it has to be the right union. Of course, you know yeah. what I'm saying. And it's like women is certain things we know, and it's certain things that men just know. And when you put those two together, it's nothing more powerful. Like it's all good to be all single, powerful, and you know I'm 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 empowered woman and all this kind of stuff. But I am definitely not one of those people who's gonna say like I don't need yeah, a man I'll type of thing. One. Like <laughs> I want a situation like I want a man I want somebody like that's why I'm, the funny, about that word. Thing, I'm funny about that word situation now you don't want a situation Okay, I don't want a situation. No, you don't. I want, want a man. What's the definition of a situation? It could be anything. I have, it could be it, but yeah, to but me, you said you don't want. She said she wants, so it sounds like okay. yeah. For me, a situation is temporary. If you look at the word, it, it don't matter which way you put the word situation. It just sounds like it's it's temporary. I hear you. Situation yeah. like a circumstance. It's something Correct. that's just yeah, I feel you. that you deal with that. 
Mm-hmm. Well, you were talking about the side chick mm-hmm. and side dudes and all this kind of stuff. And the problem for me is, I call it selfish or whatever the case may be. May be. That's why I don't fool myself when it when I'm not married. I know I'm not coming home to you every night. I know you're not coming home to me every night. I know I'm not going to have any pillow talk with nobody. I know that, you know what I'm saying, on Valentine's Day, Christmas Day, all these certain holidays, you're going to be with some. You, you could be with somebody else. So I, don't, I don't have anybody that's guaranteed to be with me. So I'm not fooling myself. So you're not finna to have me, like, playing like I'm your wife, giving you my soul and everything like that. And you can't even give me pillow talk and and, and a guarantee every night. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, um, with the side chick thing, it's like I'm not gonna. I'm, I can't play that game because I'm selfish and I'd be like wanting my person <laughs> to myself mm-hmm. on all those important days and nights. So I would feel mm-hmm. some kind of way, especially if we had a sex. Um, yeah, but you said you are single until you married. So I. You're, you're saying you expect holiday, well, Valentine's Day, I, I, and those days. That that's what I'm saying. At work, yeah. She set that boundary from the beginning, but that's yeah. why I got 10, 15, 20 friends. So I'm not mm-hmm. going to be alone alone. But I'm not going <laughs> to have my own man. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. somebody that I know I'm going to have every holiday and every day and night. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's cool. You? The side, the, the allowance. Well, did you say that I was a side, side, side dude? Oh, and stuff like that? Side, your dude can't have a side dude. Is that not what you? That's a different topic, isn't it? That's that's a yeah. Well, you okay? You know, you have to find a different audience. I think it's the right audience for that one. Okay, so your dude can't have a side dude. Mental, no, at all. So. So no no no, but I don't know if you said spoke on allowing that, but um, because your whole theory well, is single to marriage. But go topic. ahead, go ahead. This is a whole other topic. What about so there are women that okay that are okay with dealing with dudes that have been with dudes before. I think that's beautiful. Really, I, I think, think it's beautiful. beautiful. I don't know if I could do it, but I think it's beautiful because this. Mm-hmm. What if you had been molested by a woman or man as a child? And you was thought you was gay or whatever, and then all of a sudden you want to be a woman. You want to just have a man and have a normal relationship. You've been ran through as a kid or whatever like that. You know, you deserve to have a normal life. These boys out here who are uh, most of these gay men are molested boys. It's not even just the men; it's the women too. They've well, been all, been, of all of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I feel like it's a real, real mature conversation. Some of us women got to be mature enough and strong enough and nurturing. And loving enough to even date a man who is newly a man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who thought he was gay. I think it's beautiful, but I'm just not the one. You're not ready? No, I'm not. I don't think Everything I is for everyone. Yeah. No, yeah. honestly, like, because... It's a and, conversation and that, that needs to grow. But, but look, uh-huh. no, in all honesty, just for my own personal insecurities, Yeah. I don't think I... Because in the back... Hold on. In the back of my mind, I would always feel like, are you looking at... That man, and that I already got a word, but you already, oh, even if he was not that, you'd be thinking he's looking at some girl, at too. Another woman, yeah, for you to be, I have to wonder about you looking at a at a, another, I, I don't you know think what? that I would be able to handle that. Don't that's like knowing yourself. I think, yeah, I, mean, it's I think it's, 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 the fag it's, some, it's somebody for every, best friends. Right, look, it's somebody What's for that? everybody. Fag heads. You know yeah. what I mean? Girls who love gay men. Okay. They're best friends with them and da da da. And I, I don't mean to use it mm-hmm. in a slur yeah. way, but that's why I would say we mean no disrespect because we're trying to gain no, information it's, 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 and it's yeah. It's a so term for girls who adore gay boys, like they gotta have a gay boy mm-hmm. and they and they you know crew okay. or whatever. And um, but I think that it's more than just loving gay boys. I think that they may even have a tender spot for gay boys, seeing them as men, not just gay boys. But some of them, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm looking for who, what women are sensitive enough to allow a gay boy to not be gay no more and to actually be a man and have a wife and a family and da 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 You know what I'm saying? If that's what they want. 
who better than a, a faghead? A girl who loves gay boys anyway, you know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking that maybe that is already even happening. And it's it maybe not, you know, we don't know about it or whatever, but I'm just mm-hmm. thinking, like, who loves gay boys? I mean, I do love gay boys. But... I mean, first of all, I love all people that you right. well, Let's just put it like that. Now, what I don't like about the community, and this is a personal opinion, the it's thoughts that, expressed right now are those only of, of Coco. Person, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> disclaimer um, alert. So disclaimer I, alert. I have been in a situation, a plenty of time, well, not a situation, but where I've known someone, let's say, through high school, through college, and I, I always kind of knew they were, you know, gay or had curiosities or whatever the case may have been. But I don't like the extraness. Like if I, I I I know you. You get what I'm saying? Right. So I have a problem <laughs> with the the flaming fags in the community. You know what I mean? Like the flamboyant. The flam why why can't you be be yourself? Right. I, but if that is the what if that guys, yeah. but no, it goes for the, both. It but goes for both. Is, yeah. And honestly, I feel the, the boys. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the community honestly is. Um, I'm gonna keep that comment to myself. Okay, next time. Yeah, because <laughs> we we really getting borderline with it because. One, I'm thinking you're saying no, no, the I'm, flamboyance. What if I that is that, how that I person that is? So I, I I get what you're saying in terms of. I think it's all situational, but what if that person is just naturally you know what I mean because you have no, women would, here's, always, here, here's the thing though I asked the, uh, this, guy, this dude I work with he's openly gay you know and he said he don't mind talking about the fact that he's openly gay and all the things that he's been through or what have you and he said that's always thoughts that he had even when he was at the barber shop hearing jokes and things like that he knew he felt that way and I remember you and I was talking about uh, either are, are you born that way or is that something mm-hmm. that whether through molestation so or what have you you know what I'm saying so I had you know we had a little conversation and I asked him that and he was like no I always knew that so between X and Y chromosomes born and however what have you I just always thought that there was a possibility I don't know I never I can't go inside someone's brain the mm-hmm. big, the, the X and Y, and now you're Y born. X and Y, and now you're X born. Who there might be a middle lane somewhere. I don't know. So that's why I asked him that. But my other point was, mm-hmm. there are women who are just extra loud, boisterous, and woo woo woo. But, but because they're like one, I, but now maybe that dude is now owning himself yeah. and now he's living that woo 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 it just so happened you knew him as, you knew him as a as a dude or a man or your homie who was hiding in the closet who was hiding but all of a sudden so that's why I asked him that because it was always puzzling to me and one I'm from Jamaica too anyway so you know yeah. there's always been a taboo that way big taboo even though there's a lot of Jamaican men even now are open and they're open in the open like you know what I'm saying Bad. even with that tagu or what have you so I was curious so I asked the question was you know where is that something that you just always knew in your brain or was it what have you because he's openly gay he didn't mind actually speaking on it so he was like no when he was growing up at the barber shop or going around his uncles and woo 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 he knew he felt them but he had to laugh at the jokes mm-hmm. and he knew other dudes who were like that but and weren't like that publicly but when they would talk they were you know what I'm saying so it was like so that's why I asked you that say that mm-hmm. in terms of the flamboyant stuff mm-hmm. cause with that whole X Y something in that middle lane maybe you know who knows huh? I don't know but yeah I mean I I know plenty of gay who I've worked with one he was more of an androgynous kind of yeah but let's change the subject yeah, right? yeah, let's yeah, go back to, back to yeah. what? Yeah. No, where were you was going to direct it to? I thought the leaving soon, that was the, um, the weather. You did tell the old guy that, you know, you, um, you found someone else and you, you ghost in. Cause I was talking to somebody yesterday and they was like, look, because you didn't sit me down. Like Noni say, I don't hold you no explanation. I don't even got to answer the phone no more when you call. 
because you didn't make no kind of commitments. So I didn't know women was actually actually thinking like that. It just to me it just sound good y'all saying it, but I just feel like women out here living in a total it, opposite. It, it Once y'all on start woman. talking, you can't take no more fielders. It it depends on the woman. What? It depends on your life. I know. I think all stuff is situational yeah. anyway. So and, and I, I just thought as a blanket rule, women were like, women. once y'all talking to a dude, he could take no more fielders from no female because y'all were talking. It wasn't like you single till the ring was on it. I, that conversation needs to be had at the beginning. That's how I told you. How, to how early is dude. the beginning? You know what I'm saying? At the very beginning. Because that lets you know who I am, where I stand. And, that, and then a lot of where we don't have those conversations. So a lot of times we're in a whole lot of gray areas with people and people assume, like for instance, a lot of people may tell you, hey, I'm single this, that, and the other, but because you're spending time with me, because you're doing X, Y, and Z, yeah, we've had that communication, but your actions are showing different. A lot of people assume, especially women, will assume in their head that, okay, mm-hmm. This person is mine, they committed mm-hmm. to me or whatever. Mm-hmm. Even though y'all have already had the conversation, hey, I'm single, you doing me, I just choose to spend most of my time with you. But because you're doing that, there are there are people who are in their head like they won't even pay attention to words. It's your action showing them differently and you're showing them that attention that they may not have had or you're Giving them that time. I'm trying to do what? What were you? Spending time with. It's pretty, it could be watching movies. It could be going out and go getting a burger. Whatever. I'm just just naturally people are like that. Both right. men and women. Because we're naturally attracted to each other. Yeah, so after spending time with each other, like you said, going to the movies, putting up at the house, watching movies, date night, stuff like that. They can't be taking no more fielders from the when girl I, at the gym. Mm-hmm. Or they can be doing it as long as we're friends. But once I feel like either we don't have sex or I feel like I want to have sex with you. <laughs> so you lay our stipulation. This shit out. No, this is what I do. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm for real. And people will say I'm rude. Some guys. Not really regular people. But if you're trying to like... <laughs> Get my booty. Yeah, no, right. <laughs> get my booty. You're in a different category. I gotta like put you on a different level. So anyway, I be like, look. So is it any female in this whole entire world that thinks she your woman, trying to be your woman, want to be your woman? Like I go through all this. They gonna tell you no, and let me tell you. Uh, and the technicality of it is the technicality of it is they have told them that. However. Yeah, they might have been spending four days with you, but while you was at work and them other three days, they were spending it with this person. So they automatically yeah. assume that that person automatically assumes that, hey, so even though they may have clearly communicated that, and that happens a lot more than you know. They may have clearly communicated that with that person. However, because them three days is being spent and all that extra time, yeah. that person may feel like, oh, okay. He's spending time with me. That's you know, that's my boo or whatever, whatever. So he was being honest with you where where he said, Oh yeah, well nobody uh nah ain't nobody feel that way. But ultimately so we all dealing with people when I that actually may feel that way. When I actually had this conversation with a person who I feel like is so mature and just such a good man, this is somebody I thought was gonna be the one. Like he, you know, fit, checked all the boxes or whatever like that. And you're right. He was like, No, nah, and then I said, so it's nobody in the world who even thinks that. He said, well, I got a friend. Up, oh. you know what I'm saying? Why, you know what I'm saying? Why would you even bring that person up unless it was more than a friend? You wouldn't mm-hmm. even be thinking about. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you're right. But, but, <laughs> but I'm just to, saying that to, to say, say that to say that's why people don't like to tell nobody nothing. I'm gonna yeah. just do my because, due diligence because. They get ruled out. They get ruled out. They don't want to get. That's why I'm saying we are selfish in nature Mm -hmm. because we want to take people on and off the shelf to our ability. We kind of figure out and adjust to say who's better than the other or you know whatever. Whatever. What's the better deal or whatever? So now, (laughs) now because you dealt with that situation that way, he may never go tell another female that he was dealing with another female. No, guess what? You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Well, fucked up. But the thing and is, that's the, that's the problem. We have a problem with honesty between people. That communication is lost because we're fucking selfish. The best yeah, thing we can do. Yeah, that is though. what it is. We're scared of messing it up. So yeah. we're not going to say, yeah, I, like dude said, yeah. 
damn near somebody else because you're asking them, is there anyone else who think that y'all together? And he's saying, damn. Or even on that track. Or, or, or even, even on, on that track. Like, do, do you got to say something to somebody? And he's like, shit, if I say yeah, now I might mess the chance up with her moving forward because she's thinking, damn, how deep is that shit over there? And then he's like, man, I don't really want to mess this up. But I don't want to let old girl go because I don't know how strong this is. You feel me? So mm-hmm. it's a, but it leads back to that selfishness. Me, I'm like, look, just be honest because I'm thinking women can accept that out here. Well, they bought they that. Accept it, I think women I more so will accept the truth of you saying, like, look, I got a friend I'm dealing with, but I'm, just, I'm vibing there's, you there's, and trying to see where this can go. And then y'all rebuttal going to be, so how you vibing me, but you got that? I'm just telling mm-hmm. you that I'm vibing you. And I like to see where this goes. Well, what you telling her? I'm telling her the same thing. Say, like there, there are people that can accept it, but there are people who are not emotionally mature to handle it. So I think that's the difference between. But do you then cut your losses can, now that you? Well, you because you're you making a decision to. at that point, right? You're saying, boom, you're feeling this new dude, right? You have you hypothetically, but definitely, you're feeling this new dude, and you're telling old boy like, look. You're not telling old boy nothing really mm-hmm. because you're you're still on base. You got your hand tagging on base while you still out well, here I mean, a little I bit. Did, I did kind of throw it out there a little bit. I, I See, went, did I, you I throw, throw it out there or kind of? No, kind of. I didn't put my whole line out there. I had just, <laughs> just you know, right there at the, uh, at the little at the edge. Hey, yo. I ain't know what else you trying to see how far he come and grab it, or is he gonna stay out in the yeah. ocean and and, and, and be and blind to the fact that it depends on your audience too? Because you know some people may not be emotionally mature to handle it as much as you may want to tell them the truth. Because oh I, yeah, that was my I, next I, point. I Do you cut your losses though? Am. Do you cut your losses when you know you're dealing with someone not emotionally mature I enough? Do. Because you're doing yourself a disservice, well, really, well, right? My, my situation is a little bit different because I have a child involved, so I can't just cut my losses. Because my job, it's my purpose in life is to help people learn and grow and to understand who they are. However, I know when to stop pouring. I know when and when to stop pouring. You know what I mean? Certain mm-hmm. things, you're going to have to handle on your own. And I hope that whatever you did get from me at that time, maybe we connect. Sometimes... We meet people at the wrong time. You know what I mean? Maybe later on down the line we connect. But as far as for my son, I don't have a choice but to kind of somewhat still to be able to have a co-parent relationship. Right. And to help you. We're all helping each other along this mm-hmm. journey. You know what I mean? And so, but there's still a thin line as far as boundaries. At the end of the day, it boils down to boundaries. And conversations. You got to have a conversation. So, like... Going back to your point, like, even if it's a new dude and you got an old dude or whatever the case may be, like, if the new person can't understand, hey, well, I already got somebody. And don't you obviously, it, ass- okay. don't you assume going in and meeting someone that they already they got might somebody? Have somebody okay. Right. So you should, if you're a mature individual, not get upset about that. Just know that, okay, so, well, you got this other person and we just friends. Don't drop your draws. That's when people start getting in their feelings. I'm just going to say for women, when they really start acting up on you, it's because you done took their little booty. That's the main thing. It ain't even really about you talking to nobody else. Because if y'all was just friends and you ain't got in their booty, then they wouldn't even really be tripping. So that's the thing that I want to tell these little girls. Because they be thinking that, oh, I got to give it up just so that a guy can treat me better and do this and do that. You got it backwards. Because guess what? He's going to do more. Ten times more, a hundred times more just to get your little booty. Mm-hmm. As soon as you give it up, everything stops. Don't ever give it up. I ain't like I'm, I'm just saying, most say nine times, times out of ten. Bro. I think sometimes it's because men are somewhat genetically uh, Wait, <laughs> what, geared yeah. towards right. after hunter gatherer thing naturally, but mm-hmm. starts to make that move forward decision after sex. It's, it's just I can't really explain how that go. Yeah, you but that goal. It, maybe that's, that's what, what it is no, it somewhere is. in there. But it's after sex, you start decide. Now you start putting two and two together. Now you because before you you're supposed to see if she have all her ducks in a row, 
and all the no, boxes how, checked no, we for, for my choice. Huh? Let's start off with the beginning. No, <laughs> you wasn't you wasn't interested in her because she had because you didn't even no, know. No, we're visual okay. creatures. Hello? So that's she, why I said we started yeah, there. Okay. So with the visualness that yeah. started with sex up top, period. But because you, you were you were way. attracted to her in yeah. that type of way. Naturally as men, because that's how that we, is yeah. so your ultimate goal when you meet somebody not necessarily say no, goal. I ain't gonna say it's goals with genetic like that. Pro- pro- program <laughs> to, 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 to meet so and multiply so that that, 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 that comes point. into play. But that's I'm, my point. But, but that's what she was saying. That's pretty much even if you don't want to say it, but that's pretty much your goal the, because you guys are visual creatures. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, and but, that's how it initially But it don't off. end there too because along along the point of what Noni said was we're still trying to, while you're hold, not, let's say holding out or you're being that strong woman not letting go of your goodies or what have you, the dude is still pursuing and doing the you know, trying to get the booty thing or what have you, the goodies, you know what I'm saying? And getting to know you. So you're forcing to get to know. That's where more so, my point was, we're trying to get the goodies and get to know the moving forward part. Not but all. You, you can not just all, but I'm saying, not just, not, we're not supposed to, I'm not agreeing that that's the the proper thing too because you're supposed to try to find out if this is it's a natural natural. you're fighting nature while trying to find out is this a person or a good for me for the future instead of just approaching the goodies right so but what you're supposed to do as a woman is ration out the goodies don't give him the whole dang on cookie jar you know what i'm saying you can still you know, entertain Good. him and still make him smile and everything yeah. like that. You ain't got to just and so that's 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 how it should but be done. Still, and a lot of people don't understand that you can be intimate without being going intimate. all the way. Yeah, but that's not really taught too much. So not and anymore. then with what's going on with technology, T V and all these different things, people interact so much. That ain't you ain't yeah. Well sometimes technology yeah. help you not go all the way. You know, technology has its advances in that area too because you can do a lot of sexting and you know, do all this kind of whatever they talk mm-hmm. about these days or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, visual things online and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. And you ain't never really got to go all the way with a person, in, you know, mm-hmm. for real, for real. So, But some people form relationships that way too. You, I know you see uh, people online that pay women to like... I know, girl. That's what my mind just went. <laughs> what? Mind too. I'm what? What are you talking about? Just sex workers. Yeah, sex workers. <laughs> <laughs> and you have over. men that, and even with strippers, you got men that fall in love with you because yeah, you getting them off. It's you crazy. know, on some real oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though it's clearly for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> Is that cheating? Is that cheating? Uh, if you no, no, you're in a whole, if no, no, you're in a whole yes. relationship and you in the room laid down, I'm in the basement chilling, um, yes, and I jump it, online, try to, you know, it, woo, it, woo. It, I'm cheating on you. It's not, it's not physical. Are you, are you, you're forming an emotional, and that's what I that's am the problem, not. That's the problem with talking to other women <laughs> that you don't really have that platonic relationship with too. You know what I mean? That you can't bring. So there's no difference between virtual. Oh, wait, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's why some long distance relationships are so much stronger Girl. than relationships yeah. that are right here. Is because of the emotional need and attachment that you have. So. They like you have a problem. They might not be physically cheating on you, but they talk to this girl every time they leave the house and you go to work, you talk to them every day and on your way back home from work, you talk to them, yeah, I'm going to have a motherfucking problem with that shit. I thought you were talking am. about just looking no, online. No, trying no, to, uh, it, but it goes both ways. And that's how why men get attacked because of the emotion. They jacking, what you jacking off and ejaculating, that, that stirs up other hormones and things For like me. that. So you think yeah, you can't you keep it right there? If you're just looking at porn, these are women who are like professional yeah, women. This is what I'm thinking I don't feel of. like that's cheating. But no. if you have and an inbox something that you done got in somebody DMs, you trying to like have a personal, you, they know your name, you know them, they know your birthday and stuff like that, they know what you like and stuff like Yeah, that's cheating. And then if you're spending mm-hmm. too much money on that porn, it's going to be cheating too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you can't even no, take it I out get the house. part. <laughs> I get the part where you're in the DMs. It's beyond just trying to masturbate at that point because you're in the DM mm-hmm. potentially you're to meet up. You're potentially creating a meet up. So porn is different. Like you're just watching a video, yeah. and there's no, there's a very so slim like chance of meeting that. But star or whatever where, in real right, life but is. dm sliding is, is totally different i yeah. get that too no but that's what men fuck up in life too what? even when they're cheating on their woman or wife or whatever what usually you just don't cheat with one person and be you know that person and be done with them y'all tend to go back and cheat with the same person now this person will call fifth like you're gonna cheat you have to know that it's the one bam thank you ma'am i'm done appreciate it be i'm not saying that cheating is right and like I said, you have to have spoken that about and yeah. you know, or whatever, whatnot. But we're animalistic in nature. Mm-hmm. So One that's why her, these women are allowing the side with, girl to, to and, avoid and the. I understand why, well, I don't understand, but side, some side women are okay with being side women because guess what? I ain't got to deal with your damn bullshit and shenanigans. I get what and I need. And the bills paid or whatever, whatever. Right, it's a situation ship. And we have but a clear that, understanding of what it is. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? I let her... Do, I, and, and I've heard all perspectives. You know what I'm saying? And I have friends that are... Oh, but isn't okay that worse? That, the, not worse, I mean? but more put, um, potential for danger when you're letting yeah. them... No, no, no. When you're letting the, the dude get the side chick, he's building a bond with that one side chick as yeah. opposed to him just roaming well, out. It, it depends. It wham, depends, bam, depends. thank you, ma'am, like you it said. It depends on the relationship. Most women are not okay with the side chick, but it depends on whether they had that conversation. Or whether they got a side dude. Or whether they got a side dude where she don't get, she get her, her <laughs> other needs. Y'all ever had side dudes? Dude. You're in a, you're in a semi-entanglement. Uh, so I, I don't know. know. So yeah, she's a, you're in an entanglement. So I'm not sure what you talking about over there. <laughs> Noni like, ran into an entanglement all, on accident. There's, there's no side dude because nobody made a commitment to me. What you said? I'm single. To, you see a roll on my head? Uh, so how was your entanglement? How you? How you remember you were saying? Um, it was in you my were, younger years, oh, wow. and it was just like. You know, I thought I was in love. I thought I was on my track to being married. You know what I'm saying? All this kind of stuff. And then in the trash can, I see Polaroid. Y'all know this long time ago. Polaroid <laughs> pictures yeah. of that gone girl on my sheets. In, in the, That's why. Sheets that I done bought for this bed, you know, in this man house, whatever. But anyway, so yeah, I didn't know that it was a whole nother situation. So you asked about it and he was like, my dumb butt through the Polaroid. He said, oh no, I, I had let my brother use my apartment at home. Oh, so, <laughs> oh, not the brother. So was he? My brother, girl. Who was in the Polaroid? A girl. Laying so on he bed. wasn't he was, in it. No, it oh, was right. just somebody taking it pictures was of his, this girl. It was so. his Polaroid. I know what you're trying to get I, no. <laughs> I gotta put my Superman cape on and tie. Uh, listen, okay, here's this wild thing. I was talking to my homegirl now, right? She she got a red flag. No, she played. She don't. She said she don't even play that shit. As soon as she see that one little, she's out. So I'm like, okay, y'all y'all are married. He got a whole bowling situation with the homies or card playing every Friday. And he fell asleep at the house and wake up. And and now he come in the house seven o'clock in the morning. She like, no, nah, I'm done, I'm out. I'm like, you don't give him the one I fell asleep at Tony house. Right. He no. gotta come home. I'm I i don't, I, th- I think when you're married you go home every night. You well three o'clock you start to get tired. All right, look fellas, you but know you what? You have to establish that yeah. with your partner. Each partner is different. different yeah. You know what she I mean? On some, she on some by one o'clock you but need to be in the yeah. house. No, I'm that's like, not that's, your kid. Like, yeah, that's what that's my frame I was saying right. to her. She's like, nah, she don't But that. he married her knowing that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But she they married him knowing that too. So right. they gotta figure it out. But they they should have stabbed and uh, it all boils down to communication. A lot of times we don't talk about where we so are do you what give we a, want because of is our there a let it, let slide moment? Mm-hmm. I thought your your dude fell asleep at Tony House and you know, you know y'all you live together, mind you, so okay, it ain't well, like you live at his own house. house. Huh? How far you been Gabby house? Would you be okay? After y'all had a, uh, shit. You, you know, you know, men, we hypocritical with stuff As like well. that. I'm not saying we not. We hypocritical because when you are a girl, we not trying to think some dude is smashing. It is, for me, like, if, if we really together 
and I'm over Gabby's house, you probably got Gabby's number. And if I fall asleep and I ain't, yeah, yeah. you know. So now okay, we're coming up. But hold on. Just like he took up for the homeboy, yeah. then how we going to take up for him? But, he didn't even know this man that he was taking up for the homeboy. And then Gabby, but, Gabby but, might take up. You know what I'm saying? Listen to me now. Just you know, like Gabby might take up for me. It might be a no, nigga. Let's, let's, what, what about the phone call now? I'm calling Gabby. You calling? You calling Tony? And you calling Tony House? I don't answer the phone. You know what I mean? I'm in the middle of um. I know we're in new age where phone ringing. Of course, you see it. You see the missed call. Woo woo woo. It could be on silent. We playing cards, man. My phone over there. I ain't tripping on the phone. You know I'm at Tony House playing woody woo. I'm tired. Woo. Fall asleep at Tony House and you call him. That's the problem right here, right? No, 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 no. Because I'm calling you at Gabby House and you, you ain't call. answering. No, you should call me and say, hey, baby, I need you to come pick so me up from So it's the check-in. It's the check-in. I'm, I'm coming to get you. Oh, you <laughs> levels. Me. It's How like if I know my man and I know he ain't gave me no reason to think that yeah. he would be lying to me, yeah, I'm it's okay cool. with that. Mm-hmm. But if you done gave me plenty of reasons to think that nah, that shit just don't feel, something don't feel right. Like uh-huh. a woman yeah. gonna just know. But if I know my man, he got. Yeah, if you know every Friday he played poker at Tony House. And I know they be over there getting fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And I know this man love right. me. I know this man do right by it me. It depends on your relationship and, he and your trust level and all of that. Kind but of if I see them, the bank account going crazy, like what's he spending his money? Like, it must be another bitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all situations we got variables. You know what I'm saying? It's going to make it He can't have a hobby. You don't know about it. He just started about, playing no, darts now. No, I need Dark, all your hobbies. is expensive. You know, you're taking away from us. Golfing is hot, expensive. I need, I need you to see keep the receipts. Yeah. I need to see the receipts. All right, so he can't, <laughs> fall, he can't fall asleep at Tony House if you know he played poker at Tony House all the every Friday. Yeah. It's under, And you're not going to just pull up and... and, and but I do believe if you marry, you're supposed to go home every night. Well, I don't I think that, that sleeping out shit is a cool It's communication shit, cool because shit. you know that I'm going to be wondering, hey, um, where's where's uh, such and such or whatever. I'm going to, as a as your spouse, going to call you and say, hey, babe, I'm a little fucked. Because I know you're thinking about me and I'm thinking about you too and I'm being considerate. You know right. I mean? Not saying that I have to check in, but for the mutual respect yeah. of our relationship, if I'm not, hey, babe, I'm getting a little fucked up, either you can come get me <laughs> or I might not make it home. You know what I mean? Right. The responsible man, the man that you trust is going to communicate that with you and say those things. So you wouldn't have to worry or question. And that's what communication is so important. So the red, so the, um, red flag... Y'all giving, you know, some leeway. You ain't just... It depends you know. on who it is. Do we have a history of adultery? If we no uh, history, it ain't no problem. Depends. That's why like I said it depends on the variable. But, the, but the that's, that's my question. You, dev- you instantly went to history. So you tolerated a bunch of stuff for it to become a history. Maybe. Because I understand that we are both human. I may have made some mistakes. You have made some mistakes. I've seen you learn and grow. We're working together to do things, you know, the right way. However, were you how- having your cake and eat it too when you threw your line near the edge of the water instead of just saying, "Look, uh, new boy, new dude is." Where no, because we wasn't. We weren't dealing with each other like that. So why you throw your line in the first place then? Because I don't like to hide shit. I'm a leaver. I just prefer to be so, just open you, and honest and put shit out there. But I knew he didn't have the mental capacity for me to put all my cards on the table. You know what I'm saying? Because I understand that he was going through changes in his life, and he could he couldn't he couldn't take that at that time. The response that I would have gotten and how I couldn't put all my cards on the table, on the table like that. But I. I, How honestly, soon did you did you um, start making it known that you mo- you, you young? Because obviously you didn't tell him, but you had to start making moves where he's like something going on. No, I did tell him. We were having an open conversation oh. about just stuff that he was, you know, he has. And you done, told him that I'm you messing with another so dude. Since, since we were having that conversation, mm-hmm. it was the right timing for me to bring it up as well too. You know what I'm saying? How However, long was Tangleman I, going on? Mm. Uh, well, see, the word entanglement was a little funny there because I've known them for the same amount of time. 
Mm. But as far as dealing with the other, we didn't deal with each other like that until like after. Was there a time before that that you should have said something? Oh. Or oh, was it no. just because the opportunity arose, you were like, all right, no, now's the because time. because I'm single. Okay. Cool. But you no. know what? Just to you save a man's ego. Yeah. Just to save a man's ego. Even if I'm just friends with people, you know what I'm saying? And I am went out to lunch with you. I'm Guess always going to make you and feel like that guy. Dinner, I got dinner with another dude, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I'm not just going to be all up in your face like, oh, well, now I'm going to go. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's not that I'm hiding it or is that I owe you anything or that, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. that I'm cheating it's on you. It's just out of respect and you know ego. Saying? Yeah, and if yeah. you don't want to do that. Right. But if you were my man, I wouldn't be lying like and, mm-hmm. and hiding nothing. You'd have an understanding on what I expect and I have an understanding on what you expect. And if mm-hmm. we both cool with what we expect from each yeah. other, then we're moving forward. If not, then we're going to stay in the friend zone. Yeah. But I have one time or more than one time you know like put my weird or different um views on the line on to a guy or whatever like this is what i expect da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. and i thought that he wouldn't be with it and you know what i'm saying he was you, you know want to elaborate on that so it's just like sometimes women weird. think that women think that oh i to say that i'm celibate i'm not having sex right now i'm doing this i'm doing that or these things that are not common you know what i'm saying they feel like, oh, I can't do that because then yeah. I won't have a man, you know what I'm saying, or whatever like that. And I, I, I felt that way, too, for a lot of time because even when I was younger, just to put it bluntly, like, I, I wouldn't give head. Like, I, I just, I, 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 girl, I will be like, I'm going to throw up. Like, no, like, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway. So like, what just, happened? Just Y'all found out that Stephanie like, was out here. For me, it's a connection. Like, it I was like this. I would lose like boyfriends. That. I would lose boyfriends because I, I didn't do, do it. Yeah, I can't do it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I, he would be still with me, right? But then I find out he's cheating with the girl who. Oh, fuck. Yeah, because you know Stephanie was out here. Becky was out here. What are you going to talk about? Can't worry about my mouth. So, Becky was. Becky was yeah. out here, so <laughs> you know, but 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 I learned that guess what? That guy just wasn't for me, you know yeah. what I'm saying, or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. I just kept sticking to my as you look whatever. as you look back, do you you just chalked it up to that now? I but chalked I, it up to that that it just wasn't for me because I wouldn't change a thing. I'm so thankful mm-hmm. I was around there sucking up everybody like mm-hmm. Becky. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I'm fine. That, I hear know. Becky winning out here though. That's, uh, that's fine. Right. But uh, see, the thing is, I'm not even keeping score. I'm just living my life. So Becky can be over there in competition with me all day long. Okay. Yeah. So, but I, I'm just saying, like, do your thing. Have your own standards. Don't worry about, like, mm-hmm. what the status quo is or what everybody else out here doing. Because half these people spirit. who out here saying they doing this and saying they doing it, they ain't doing that. They real humble. They saying mm-hmm. they out here doing, you know, they boss bitches. They making niggas pay this and da 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 They is not. They, they want a man, too. You know what I'm saying? They want to belong they to somebody, do. too. You know what I'm saying? So, just, you know, it's okay to be humble. It's okay to be a lady. It's okay to be abstinent. I, I it's think, okay to I, have standards. I think where we are right now is we're just so far from vulnerability and being. It's okay to be vulnerable. Our, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I think that's a good we point. We have been fucked by the world and people and things like that, and we're detached from our emotions. That's why we are where we are now. Yeah. And it's to be able to be, to connect back to that. Yeah. To connect back to that love and to be able to feel. That's why a lot of people drink. That's why a lot of people smoke. That's why a lot of people have sex addictions. That's (laughs) why, I mean, it's different things. Some people shop. And I'm not just talking about drugs. I'm talking about, people got all kind of addictions out here. Gambling, shopping, whether it be tarot cards, massages, everybody got their own shit. You know what I'm saying? But we use all of that sometimes to mask out from feeling. And reconnecting. Yeah. And, and connecting to ourselves. Okay. And being okay with doing that. So, a lot of people don't want to feel. No. They don't like that feeling. Because they felt that feeling before and it hurts. And to be able to have faith and the trust and to be okay with moving forward and letting go of people or whatever. A lot of people are not okay with doing that. Because a lot of us are codependent, a lot of us have a lot of insecurities, a lot of other things. Mm-hmm. So let me. So 
Not, I didn't want to even you to specify with that. But how mm-hmm. important is the pleasure aspect to women when y'all dealing with a dude? Is that the pleasure aspect? Yeah. Are you gauging that on moving forward? Um, I or, think that has or to be. personality allow for okay, we can have fun till you know, cause y'all the single till the okay, ring so is on it. Let's clarify what you mean by sexual pleasure. pleasure. Okay. Um. Is that only that's all what's included in pleasure? No. After that, do you? Because obviously the dude can't control what certain parts of that, right? So do you speak on the, the lack? Any other thing that you want, like Noni said, she yeah, didn't like should. giving it, head. It, so, do you tell the dude, okay, look, I you like head, or you know, this is what you, you know, y'all you communicate that way when in it? How important? Yeah, is? yeah, I think like what you're saying, like when you when you're talking about sexual likes and, and dislikes and fetishes and you know what. And how what important you is that? What you're choosing up what that say, movement. What's your get down? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and how important is that with? Are you the conversation? You, yeah, with moving forward with that person, is that a deal breaker? Sometimes it depends on your connection with that person. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Does yeah. it over Trump? Does, does the connection Sometimes Trump? Sometimes it don't Trump. Like we can work on those things. Yeah, can, I can teach. I you can, can just can deal teach with that. You can't teach. You can't teach. You know. And stuff you can't so, see. Yeah, okay. yeah. But sometimes speak to both of those. That's what I'm saying. Speak to both of it. You got niggas with big dicks that don't know what the fuck to do. So, and then, but then you cut. Right. You know what I mean? But then you communicate. So that's what I'm saying. Speak to. You can communicate. First of all, people have to be open and receptive. A lot of times when you're talking about sensitive subjects like that. A lot of men ego gets crushed, and it's no. not saying that hey, I'm trying to put, I'm trying to tell you how to please me. What you may have done with a have you done that before? Oh, absolutely. And I've had I've had both sides of the spectrum where you know one has tried versus one you know wasn't open to to criticism, and it wasn't criticism like hey, but everybody's different. You. Y'all, your hot spot might be your neck. Mine might be my big toe. I mean, everybody different. You know what I'm saying? You like, know what? I'm so thankful when a man know himself and be like, you know, hey, girl, look, I ain't got nothing going on right here, but you know what? I got a big heart. <laughs> right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, I right, teach you right. Right. <laughs> right. Yes. But, yes. but, but you I can respect it. it. Right. I can and, respect and it. And we can learn it. and we can grow because we can find other things that That's we like not to do. Thing. It's not. It's not everything. It's not. Can you provide right. me in all the other areas? Like right now, I got a homegirl. We ain't girl, still together, but nameless. You know what I'm saying, bro? Right. <laughs> I got a, a homegirl who, um, nameless, who is married, and her husband is everything that she needs and is looking for in all departments. Right. But that department. Oh. And she goes out, and she goes out, honestly, I ain't gonna say all the time, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, every once in a she while. She goes out, you say? Yeah, okay. what I mean by go out, she, okay. you know, she steps out. That, she steps out. Okay. Right. You know, and he knows not, it. He knows it. No, he doesn't know it. Oh. He doesn't know it at all. He doesn't know that he's not there, or she doesn't know that she stepped out. She steps out. Oh, all right. So why don't she have the? Okay. No, I'm listening to you. Why don't she have the conversation on like, um, look, it's not there, and I'm just gonna step out a little bit. Well, I mean, I think at one point it was there. You know how you go through a honeymoon phase or whatever. So I think at one point it was there, but well, what she says is he comes with. You know what I mean? Oh, that's but, the problem. But then, but then I had to tell her too. I said, "But you know, they got pills for that." But then too, because you're not feeling him like that. They're married. What are you talking about? I, I agree. I, I be trying to convince her. I'm trying to tell you. I be trying to convince. Her. Look, and then my, my homegirl was <laughs> Did like, "Did she outgrow the feeling him? Because at one point no, she must have to marry." No, she has. But you know, sometimes we get caught up in the everyday routine of life. Yeah. You know, and and we still don't get to date each other and do those special things that you were doing while you guys were dating to get up to that point. Right. You know, sometimes you get lost in the sauce. You know what I mean? You have to re keep that flame going and igniting. 
Yeah. You know, like sometimes because of everyday life and when kids are, they got, she got four kids. That's what you know a rationing, what I'm the rationing. You can't. You know, yeah. And but it, my homegirl was sitting next to her. We was like, ain't shit out here, girl. If you don't leave that boy booty hole, turn him out. With a, I'm not I saying that. no. I, I'm just. We were just being funny I mean, and facetious. So like, <laughs> you know, I ain't making nobody asshole for the record. <laughs> but we was being funny. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. Like, you have it? a you have a good man right. in all kind of areas. You have to fight. You know how you have that one person that just had turned you out. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna have to figure out and work through that shit with him and turn his ass out so he can be who you need him to be for you. Don't mm. just give up on you. Married him for a reason. He's good in all these other areas. So you said that to her before her, she stepped out, why you or her before, after, during? <laughs> oh, okay. she just so she was gone. Yeah, but. And it's just like Ain't no girlfriend gonna stop you from stepping no, out. No, no, <laughs> but but I do keep her in check though. You know what I mean? Because you're gonna be mad as fuck when A, either he step out. Right. Or B, you just lose your husband altogether because he found out that you stepped out and right. you've been doing it, whatever, when you got a good man at home. You know what I mean? You know yeah, how many women up. you know how many women out here wish for good men at home? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Figure that fucking shit out. I don't give a damn what you got to get toys and play with yourself, have him play with you or whatever. Like that, like my friend said, lick his booty or whatever you got to do. Y'all got to figure it out. You guys are one. You have to figure it out or meet somewhere in the middle or whatever the case So she's be. not trying to divorce. She just wishes she had that level that's, of... That's the only, that's the only that, thing that's missing for her. That's the only thing that's what missing What you say, Noni? You think she should... Obviously... I think you just said it anyway. Nothing was gonna stop her from stepping out. Her yeah, mind that's was what made she up. Wanna do, but I do. Feel, I wish that, like for myself, when I've had a good man in my life, and maybe I was impatient or whatever, I wasn't looking at the full picture that's or whatever like that. Too. And I, I, I be like, uh, one thing ain't right. I, I be real quick to like just leaving it. Like what, especially whatever, when whatever. you're older, we tend to do that. We be like, oh no, when I was young. Younger, like already. now, I'm trying to like, okay, let me be patient. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold on, so these edges. You know, <laughs> <laughs> let me just. Now my day ain't coming like how they used to. <laughs> so I, I'm like, look here. But a, a guy used to like do something that I didn't like, or he had something to say about me, or anything like that, make me feel uncomfortable. And I would do the thing like, I'm going to dump you before you dump me. Half the time, they weren't even trying to dump me. It's just they didn't matter. Corrected me or they might have been for that. You know, and I just run. But we got to be patient. We got to try to work it out. And especially if you have a good man. Especially you don't marry the man. Especially you got children. Like, you owe it to the family, to the community, mm-hmm. to the world, to the nation. And she's, too. Newly, she's newly married, like, too, for the record or whatever. So, but, yeah. I'm not I, even. I, I, is she respectfully too. doing it? I'm not even Absolutely. condoning it yeah. to be like, it's yeah, she need to be out it's here. Definitely respectful, you know what I mean. But I Man. think a lot of times people have other issues outside of. I don't think it's the sex aspect. I think it's just other knowing that you can do certain things. Some people live off their ego and control. And she be wanted to know that she they still sat down. got it. And, she oh, thinks she's been this. sat down, but she, but she ain't been sat it. down. See, money is not the thing. Like, a lot of these guys think, oh, because I'm giving you money. This is one dude. You know what I'm saying? He thought because he was giving me money that I was sat down, baby. But you ain't there on Valentine's Day, Christmas Day, my birthday, whatever days I think is special. You're not there every night. I don't got no pillow talk with you. We don't hardly conversate like that. Money is not everything. Did you sit him down? <clears throat> Yes, I did everything he asked me to do. You're not talking about and telling what you just said. After the situation. But you know what? He had never set me down. So guess what? Somebody else came along and did their best. And I thought that they was trying to set me down. And I, I just went on. Mm-hmm. And you know, because it was like a week or two until we speak anyway. It, it'd be some, mm-hmm. like sometimes three weeks before, between the times that we speak. Mm-hmm. You, it you, used to be like every Friday, right? Like you, you left said. Left and then it was like more and more time so guess what in three weeks you know how many dudes yeah you know but that's see? what i'm saying like not like not see and, like that and, but i'm yeah. saying visually see like, but let me tell you i'm gonna tell you what the problem with a lot of dudes too is 
They have those insecurities about you talking to another dude, this, that, and the other. But the thing is, are you doing what you're supposed to do? Why are you worrying about the next dude? Worry about you and what you're doing from what you ain't doing. Yeah, make sure you, you don't, step that shit up. If you don't, don't be worried about the nobody next dude. else. Correct. Be on your shit. You ain't got no. You, and I want to be shit. set down. You don't, it's not like you I don't, don't have to question down. nothing because guess what? You take care of what you need to take care of. You being present, you being in the moment, and you doing what you're supposed to do. And I think every girl pretty much want to be set down. It's just like in these days and times, it's like so few dudes that really know how to sit a girl down. Like you know, what I'm saying they, they either want to use violence to beat a girl down. Or they want to, you know what I'm saying? What's the definition of sitting down? Um, making a girl feel secure. Making a girl feel like she belongs, you know what I'm saying, to you. Make a girl feel like she's home. Make a girl feel like she ain't got to uh, look no further, you know? <laughs> I don't know how they explain it, but, yeah. Like, like you know how, like, some What's guys... What's sitting down? No, that, that's what... It's making a commitment. It's having that conversation. And it's about those actions behind it as well, too. I'll tell you this. Like, one time, I was, like, just sleeping. You know, you fall asleep over a friend's house. So we laying back to back or something. You know, you're my mm-hmm. friend, but you want to be more than my friend. But we, we sitting there laying back to back. Okay? Another time I laid over my friend's house. Every, each time, we all fully clothed, right? Mm-hmm. But this time, I'm laying next to my friend. He put his arm and his fucking leg over me. Mm-hmm. Just like, you know... Bear hug me to sleep. I'm talking about this nigga sleep like that. If I try to get up, <laughs> nigga squeezing tight. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm home. Like this nigga got me. Like you know right. what I'm saying? Even I don't know if that didn't work out either. Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, that, that's that. just an example but, of. But somebody that feels comfortable with you to you know and to even open up and have that conversation. And then yeah, and then like you say, it's to each his own. Because some people wouldn't like that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. that's what it was. For same definition of sitting you down. What sitting you down? Sitting you down, down, telling you that you the only one. Woody woo woo. Not telling, but showing. Showing. It's not just about telling because you're at, you would say one thing at your mouth, your actions show different. And just like I was saying, you say it. Same thing applies. When, remember, I was saying where men tell, "Hey, we just friends," but then you see me every three, four, five days. We we seen each other every day of the week. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Like, what's really going on here? Eventually, you're going to have to talk. Because what people are going to catch feelings regarding The more time you spend with people, it's the, men and women are naturally attracted to each other. Period. And the more time you spend with someone, even if you weren't attracted to them at one point, you're always going to have that question in your head like, hmm, does he like me like that? Or does she like me like that? That's just the nature of the being and who we are. So a lot of times you may tell, like I said, you may tell a woman, hey, we we just friends, but you're spending five, six days out the week with and throwing your leg around them and doing all this. So yeah, now they feel like they got a relationship with you. What about when guys work too much um, and the woman is complaining about... I, had a, I have a homeboy like that. Uh, he, the, his last two relationships, that was the problem, he said. Because he, I want to try to think of how old he is, but he's, he's in late twenties, and he's saying it's his brain. He's like, man, I'm trying to get it to the point where thirty five, forty. I'm just coast coasting, but I got mad hours right now, and they both left left them or complained to the point then leave that he worked too hard, he worked too much. So I'm like, well, are you trying to find the time where you? But his hours are so fluctuating, being that he'll start at 7, but it won't end till 10, 11, six days a week. Or that's just how the hour go based on what he do. And then the other one just pick up wild hours because he's trying to get himself right for the later half of his life. Well, but it's like... I have to say, in life it's a balance. You can't have too much of this, too much of that. You're going to have to learn how to balance life out. Secondly... The right woman is going to understand where he is, where he's at. I go for the and ride. Know that, exactly. And know that there's an ultimate goal in mind. And it's going to accept mm-hmm. that for whatever goal and time period we discussed. Whatever. Whatever. Are you, you know side dude? 
Oh, absolutely not. I'm no, not if I lunch. know I got a good dude I'm and going shopping this nigga is Whole Foods. Yeah, yeah, no. okay, so you're not side dude and you're going for the ride. I know I got a good nigga and I know he's at work. I know he ain't out here playing. Nah, you know what I'm dude saying? Wasn't, no. Neither yeah, one of them the was doing that. Like, mm-mm. they were both just working dudes. Do you know he's... Was he, oh, he was from No, no, both of these dudes, I know them dudes on that level, not like I'm there but where we're hanging with them, but from it. talking to them, mm-hmm. I don't t- get that they're lying, like they still running the streets, and they, and I'm thinking they could, but they're like, nah, and I see a couple of their hours where they really do be but, but, like I said, really it, putting in work for That's what I'm telling them, because I'm like, are, are you finding time to do a... One day or the week well, date one night, day, or exactly. are you trying and trying to do that? He's like, yeah, do it. But then a week or a month later, it's back to the same shit. Like, man, you work too much. Because there's no consistency behind it. So he got to eat every day, bring his lunch, home cooked meal or something. Like if he want that, but I don't know, he might be like he don't want her bring his lunch. Like, I don't know. I never asked him, but but I'm just. We were just talking, and they just told he was there with both. Like that's because why women, they broke up with him. They saying women he worked are not too hard much. To please. Women are hard because even simple shit like that. Hey, I'm on my way to bring you lunch. I just wanted to see you and spend time with you or whatever. How it, it just be little simple shit. You ain't gotta do nothing much, but it's just. And every woman is different with their emotional needs as well. Too, so it depends on the woman that. As well. so I would t- love that. I would love my man to work so I'm much. It's crazy. You. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and if he loved me like that and he really ain't fooling around, he won't mind me cooking his food and bringing him a little lunch. I ain't finna harass you at work. I drop it off, whatever. He comes to the car, give me a kiss, mm-hmm. and you know. You know what I'm saying? At least I know I get to see you right quick. One of them actually <laughs> lived with the girl for a while, and she was like, You work too much. And I was like, Fam, but you. St- you still got to go to the house to sleep and see her. He's like, yeah, but then I'm up early and I'm out. By the time I come back, she laid up sleep. And then, you know, we, I guess they don't get the but time still, to talk and shit like that. But still be at work and it's a thoughtful thing. You can send her flowers. You can just do little yeah, thoughtful things. They probably things stuck in their sure you know put put work mode. So they're not even, they overlooking those little things. It's those little things that make a difference. And if she you know leaves. All right, so well, I'm still on the ground for this. Because let me work. tell you, people mm-hmm. just want to, it's just know. in general, people want to feel needed. Yeah, yeah. And that's what that's, men, and that's what men do. Men, especially in relationships, need to feel needed. And women do as well, mm-hmm. too. So even if he said, hey, baby, I'm hungry. Can you bring me some lunch? You don't think that woman's going to hop, find, figure out a way. Even if she at work in the middle of whatever, she's going to figure out a way to get you that goddamn lunch. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? People just so, and a lot of times we miss that. And like you said, it's just a little simple thing. Whether it's sending flowers, making me know that you're thinking about me, or you, I might not necessarily have to spend time with you like right that. I want for our culture, you know what I'm saying, going forward, I want for men to have, have more of an idea of being protectors and providers and not having women working. I really do. I really want women to just. But stop, here's the here's the thing I heard stop. with that too is like when if the relationship go bad, divorce come, your honor, he told me not to work. Now I don't have a skill. Now I don't have. I stopped doing my uh-huh. whatever, whatever. So I was hampered by being told to be a stay at home wife, mom, or well, what have you. I'm not really one for divorce anyway, so that's a whole different. Yeah, and I don't that think like that a woman should not have any skills or should not do anything, but she shouldn't have to. Right. She shouldn't have any bill responsibilities. She should be a hairstylist because she want to be, and that's her art. She should do Yoni's things because that's what she loved to do, and all her girlfriends, you know, need it. Mm. And she should, you know, what I'm saying, open so, a little okay, store. So what is she? But she doesn't have to. She chooses. She should to. open so a little store. So he go to work, bring yes. home the bread, take care of the house, woo do woo woo. What yeah, are you I'm doing? She is going to stop anything that she needs to do because she don't have mm-hmm. to do it for bills. She's going to stop anything. No, no, no. To what be at his is her car. responsibilities? What, her, what she, is she doing? She needs to manage the bills, make sure that his money gets spent on time. She needs to make sure that the house is clean. This is for me. This is me. What I, I yeah, should say what no, she should do. I'm care. saying what I should do. Take you care of the home. And then lovely. if he needs Making lo- your doctor's appointments. All that. All that. Taking you wherever you need to go. But also, if he do need me to stop working right quick, babe, because I need you to come up to the job and do X, Y, Z and take me here or bring me some lunch or whatever. I just want to see your face. I ain't paying no damn bills. Close the stove. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to see my old man. You understand? On the way. <laughs> 
So y'all saying that? Y'all y'all talking to other women about stuff like that? Yeah. Or talking? Oh, I, I, got, I, got, I got some friends. Well, I do have some. I know a lot of people, but I have some friends. I talk to young girls. I talk to young girls because... I deal with a lot of entrepreneur type situations and it's people who come to me with like uh, uh, new business ideas and all that kind of stuff or just, you know, I, I deal with a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of times they're young people. So I see a young girl and the opportunity to just impart some wisdom on how not to your life up, you know what I'm saying, as far as the relationships and this and that. I just tell them what I can tell them. So the men you run into when y'all propose these things, what did they, what's the feedback? Like you telling the dude, look, you, you, you know, you need to tell your girl to woo, stop working and you pay the bills and just lay out what you expect for her to do that. Y'all doing that? It and depends. then what it kind of feedback? Some people are receptive to it. You know, some people, some people don't even have to tell that to because that's their innate. They know that. You yeah, know I saying? know a bunch of dudes like that too where they be on some man. My it's, woman, it's, I don't honestly, tell her don't it's work. It's a new culture thing. But they it's actually honestly, lay out they actually lay out what their expectations is. Like, I so you come my house it, clean, groceries. And I think everybody um, should have that in their relationship. Stuff like that. And they, they don't they, happen? They do. Oh, okay. Well, the one person specifically that I'm thinking of in mind, it, it is happening. They are, their, fee, their wife, I'm trying to say his girlfriend or his wife, whoever, his, his partner, she do... Make sure all the other stuff, doctor's appointments are kept up, call and text and like, look, you know, your dental appointment is coming up, whatever, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, but other dudes, I know. Okay, here's another question I have. What y'all feel like about 50-50 or is it a company pot? What I mean is y'all in a relationship, your check, his check is now one check or is it two check? You got half of the rent, you got half of the rent. Grocery store time here's a hundred. That's or, what she was just talking about. I ain't paying on it. That's your responsibility. So you got the you check. I got a check. We got two bank accounts. We have one bank account and two bank accounts. <laughs> I know what you say. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. No, you asked the question. I was just clarifying. Uh, yeah. We have. I one believe mutual, in company pot. We have a one but, mutual account for me. How I roll, we can. We will have one mutual account and two separate accounts. I ain't putting all my all right. eggs in, in one account. Married? Married? It don't matter. Like Married, it. single, whatever. No, because it's a big difference. No, ain't no single getting together with no bank accounts. No, no, but. right, right. No, I, I agree. Okay, People so do it, let's just say I, married I, then. I let's say married. Yeah, no, I'm still having my own account. Even not married, I, I always have, have, have my one own stash. I, I'm a stash master. You, I got about 10 stashes in the house. You know what I'm saying? I don't man. do that. I think but all if, women. if you my husband, you and if you my husband, then that means that you are taking care of me. You are protecting and providing, which means that we can do one pot. You know what I'm saying? I can if, if I get a check, you know what I'm saying? I'll go ahead and put it in the pot because you take care of everything anyway. You know what I'm saying? You I ain't going to put my, my stash in. I mean, I'm not going to put my share Okay, in the, in you doing pie. you doing it here? However, I'm still just to protect myself. Yes, have your stashes. I still won't have my stash. I'm sorry. You that's why I said, and I'm not mad at you for having yours either. We have that's why I said we have a joint account, and then you gonna have yours, and I'm gonna have mine. And that's, that's your claim on over there. It's my claim um, on over here. Any grandmama yeah. would tell you, baby. Every girl got to have her stash. Oh, every time, all the look, time. I'm understanding all that you're saying. So, mom. but look. You get your check from doing that here. You go into the you go into the bank breaking down three hundred out of it, putting it in the company pot, and then putting four in the other one in the stash it, pot. It depends. Or you putting that whole check in the bank and then I ain't putting a hole in nothing nowhere. <laughs> That's what I'm I asking. You cashing the check and look, then putting half in the we don't company get pot. Like that. We well, get cash. We get a lot. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. We might be good for one month. The next we month speak we in the like, We speaking yeah, hypothetically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We speaking hypothetically in terms of the company nah, pot. No, um, I, I'm going to contribute to the company pot. However, I'm not going to put no, my because I'm spending on groceries. I'm spending trees. on a cute little thing for the wall. I'm spending on a new rug, a mm-hmm. dress. Uh, a little some, some draws for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm spending on but stuff. Are you, I might not have nothing to put in the pot, really. But that, you know that I ain't <laughs> fucking up. 
I ain't got no pride. I ain't got no pride. I ain't got nothing to contribute. But you're still going in the main pot to go do whatever. Because it's our pride. Because I might not have enough. That's why I got you. I don't know. Was yours and I was 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 my and mine was yours and I was. I I get the theory and the principle. Yeah. I get the theory. But I mean, what, does yeah, it yeah, even yeah, matter yeah, what you're doing out here in these streets? Wait, Meaning that you're a whole doctor. So you're getting a hundred racks a year. You still not putting like that in the to, company at part? At the end of the day, listen listen here. You take care of me, I take care of you. And that is period. That's what it is. Like, I'm going to give you an example. So my baby daddy one day asked me, where that 25 dollars? Nigga, if you really ask me for fucking 25 dollars, I take care of the, the kid. Like, yeah, At that's... the end of the day, you going to get it back from, but that's what I'm saying. You take care of me, I take care of you. It shouldn't be a matter of what you put in the pot. You ain't got to worry about, like you said, getting no groceries, buying no toiletries, worry about your clothes being iron. Mean, you ain't got to worry about the But like what if he make less than you? What if you a doctor out here and he a carpenter or this or this or that? Like that, you know what I'm saying? If you that happens to be the case. Now the housewife, he works. sound like you tolerating that based on your whole. Who me? Who me? I don't mind as long as I'm taking care. You have to know the person that you're with and what their strengths or weaknesses is. That's what we were having a conversation about. Because protection with, and provision with, don't necessarily have mean, a dollar have amount, to, exactly. right? Exactly. If you protect them for me and you provide me, you you might be a handyman. That means that Correct. every light bulb, I every gotta time, worry about none of that. my air conditioner sounds a little funny. Every time, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about that. And I come home to cook me a too? Well, maybe not because he might be working a lot. You might still have to. Y'all might have to play with it. He paying for the takeout. I don't even care. However, it go. We just we know each other. We know each other's strengths and weaknesses. Right. But we take care of each other. Absolutely. Both in the physical world and spiritual. I'm tired, you know so I hope my husband make more money than me because I really don't want to work. But you know, if you yeah. know, you never know who you're gonna fall in love with. That's why my right. mom be like, don't yeah. play with it. Because you start dating a little boy, or you maybe even slip and fall on a dick or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and then you fall in love, and then you don't know you marrying this whole person's family. You don't know his mama might be a this per- type of person, daddy, mm-hmm. sisters and brothers might, mm-hmm. these people might be gang members. You don't ever know what's going on. So you just really got to choose wisely, wisely out mm-hmm. here, you know. Be careful. Who you connected with? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Real talk. So y'all had side dudes, y'all had y'all that in y'all relationships? Side no, dudes. you tried to insinuate that I had one, but I wasn't in a relationship to have one. So the answer to your question is no. Yeah. I didn't have a relationship, no. I'm only committed. I like to keep what I call a stable, <laughs> but they're not side dudes. What's the difference? This is what I'm saying. Is because it that is it that 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 glass breaking case of emergency? So y'all ain't doing nothing, or is it situational? Like for uh, me, is none of them. I are, I'm not intimate with any of them. Now I won't say I'm not intimate, but I'm not having all the way sex with any of them. So they're part, part of the stable. <laughs> <laughs> Some guys just greedy, you know, or whatever, you know. But anyway, so, um, yeah, so that's the thing. Like, I just keep my friends. But I just think as human nature, men do the same thing, too. You know what I mean? We, we always have a... It's like you got to have a couple man. of friends. And, of course, men, they going to like you. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't mean to be, like, crass or whatever. But if, you, if you're a male friend, but I'm not going to give you none, then you're a part of the stable. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're a male friend and you're trying to get it. Now, if you're a male yeah. friend and you're not trying to get it, then right. I respect you. Right. You are a male friend. Yeah. Okay, but if you're trying to get my if oh, yeah. you're trying to get my cookies, then I kind of like, and, and, and that's that's wrong because I know it's not bad for somebody to like me and try to get you in that way. Mm-hmm. So I shouldn't be put, putting them in any lower rank than my mm-hmm. male friends. Mm-hmm. But... Just because of just my life and because things that you know have happened that to me, and yeah. half of them are really trying to trick me. They don't really mm-hmm. mean me no good. <laughs> no you know what I'm saying? They don't. They don't yeah. want to take care of me. And they don't want to protect and provide for me. They just want my stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I just kind of be looking at them sideways. And you don't feel no way. You know. 
and I just take all their money and don't get them nothing. That's and you don't feel no way about I don't, it because I really you don't. know they didn't have no Because guess what? Did I tell you, you that I was gonna give you my whole body for this money, for this shopping, for this whatever? Was that implied? Ain't no, no implied. Uh, I don't care. Okay. I, you no, gotta man. speak to me. You gotta tell me that you wanted my whole body for this car. <laughs> you want to tell you in my whole life, my future. I ain't even seen my future. You want it? Yeah. Damn. You gotta sit yeah. you down. You know, and a car ain't gonna sit me down. A little allowance ain't gonna sit me down. I need commitment and allowance and a car. <laughs> but I'm gonna give you more than that. The, the, the book says That's that you give said. a woman a house, oh, absolutely. she'll give you a home. I guess it's an honor to to have the privilege to be able to take care of a woman. You because know she's magic. Because women are magic. You Absolutely. give her 15 cents, she'll give you back a dollar. Anything. That ain't mutual. No, that is an honor. No. It's, it, you know, it's a little mutual, but you know, we're a little more special. <laughs> it is mutual yeah. because whatever you're going to give us, we're going to multiply. Uh, we're going to double. We're going to make it much I'm better just thinking than what you have. You love your man, so you want to make sure he's good and taking care of you. What I'm saying, that's it. What you know I'm saying is what I'm men thinking. feel like it's an obligation to do what to take care of women where it's an, actually an honor to take care of women because i don't think so what? because that's why when you know you with that one you sit her down early so it's not an obligation you're like oh yeah, yeah i got I the one i ain't it. even playing around I'm let's, let's, no, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah but, let's but, go but, girl but, we ain't even fucking that's around how you were raised. There's some right. men who feel like, okay, well, it's 50-50, this, that, and yeah, that. I'm like not that. taking care of you. I know a bunch of homies with, like that. That's what he may take off. care of her in different types of ways or whatever. That, that's how you were raised. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But some men feel like it's an obvious. Oh, nice. Nah, I'm spending all my money to take care. It is an honor, Ooh, to, take, it it is an like honor to take care of a woman. Because yeah, that's whatever, that's that, whatever you give that woman... She's gonna double, multiply, do whatever she need to do with it, and you're always gonna be taken care of. Think about all your female friends, all some real shit. Anytime you call any one of them, guess what? I'm sure 90% of them are there for you. Am I right or wrong? You can't call your homeboy with the same shit, can you? No, all some real shit. I got a couple homeboys like that, that if I hit, depending on where they are, if I hit their horn. Ain't no depend. No, woman. You nah, didn't tell me that. Girl, you didn't, ain't yeah. no matter where the fuck the woman at. Yeah. She gonna stop, do whatever the fuck she yeah, do, and make that shit about motherfucking an hour happen. and a half, I had, um... No, it's a real shit, though. I had to go to the doctor. She drove, like, a good hour and a half. But what I'm trying to tell yeah. you is, regard. Yeah. that's why women are so powerful and so important. No, nah, y'all you know got a I different mean? love. Y'all got a exactly. nurturing love. But what I, I'm trying to tell you, it's not an obligation to take care of, to take care of women. And a lot of men feel like that. It's not. If you have a, if you know you have a So was it a gold digger to y'all then? You, but it's an obligation, it's not no. an obligation either to take care of men. It's an honor, right? Yeah, oh, that's absolutely. A good I didn't say that. It was. Right, I'm just saying we're going to say it oh, on yeah. both sides, right? Mm-hmm. When you find a guy that's just like deserving, he is a protector, he's a provider, he's like a good man, and you see him, because like as a mother of a boy, I can't sit up here and be like, oh, men are any less you know what I'm saying, than women or men are, you know what I'm saying, any less of a joy to take care of. I used to tell my son, like, <clears throat> when you going out here starting a date and stuff like that, don't be spreading your little seeds around. You know what I'm saying? Just like we tell our little girls, don't be getting pregnant by anybody. We got to tell our little boys, too, don't just be impregnating anybody because, you know, you get somebody pregnant who is like a, a, a crazy baby mama and then you got a situation on your hands. But when you find a guy who is precious, like, I don't know if you have sons or not, but, you know... Uh, I know a two-year-old. You know what I'm saying? I know he's just two now, <laughs> right. but imagine. No, but I you know what I'm saying? 22 no, years from it. now, when he's somebody's man, the type of man that you are grooming him to be is the type of man that... <clears throat> probably the type of man that you would want, you know, out here. Because you want him to be the type of man who can take care of the a woman. Guy. And, yeah, and mm-hmm. all of that. So when you do find that type of guy, oh my God, it's such an honor to take care of a guy like that because it's reciprocal oh, absolutely. it's reciprocal and so that's that's the point when a lot of times when we in these relationships and we're giving our all and it's not reciprocal then Let it's me a take, problem a lot of men don't want to give their all because they've been backstabbed so many times and different yeah. by a lot of people whereas us women even though we've been backstabbed we're still going to open our hearts to 
men is still get. So there's a difference. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Women are a little bit more forgiving or whatever, where men all automatically go into the situation, ship, the friendship, whatever. It's like, does she have is she a gold digger? Is there a alter, uh, alternative motive? This, that, and the other. So that's why naturally they don't they don't do that. I don't think women are like gold. Uh, there are gold diggers. There are straight yeah. up gold diggers, right? <clears throat> but as men, um, natural. What is a gold digger? Role is to protect and provide. Women are natural receptors. They receive energy. Mm -hmm. They receive your sperm and turn it into a child. They receive the house that you build and turn it into a home. They're receivers. And if a woman is an appreciative a receiver, she won't look like a gold digger. But when a woman is not appreciative, they don't do anything with the energy you get. When you go to the bank and they say that your money appreciate, what they say, it grows, right? So when you when a man give you something and you don't appreciate it, you don't grow what he gave you. You don't make it better for him. He's feeling like he's at a loss, like he's throwing money down the drain, you know what I'm saying? But a gold digger will do that to you. You will give her money and she's not making it grow for you. She getting her hair did, her nails did. She might buy her a bins or whatever she do with your money, but that's a gold digger. But when you got a woman that you're steadily giving money to, but it grows back to you, that ain't no gold digger. That's your wife. That's that's your soul. That's your partner. Yeah, I got some couple dudes I know. They don't believe in that fifty fifty stuff. They they stay fifty fifty. Like they don't give. The one couple of them is married. And then, like, when it comes rent time, they call their wife up, like, baby, you got the half. I'm like, man, that's your, you married they raise on differently. single dudes. They raise differently. They do but it. But guess what? That was okay for that woman, though. Yeah. That's why yeah, they stand together. Yeah, yeah. That was saying everybody, everybody's standards yeah, is different. I, women like I can't, that. I, me personally, I couldn't do that because you know, you should already know you taking care of me in the household. Everything else is gonna be taken care of, and I'm gonna bring your money back times two or whatever the case may be. Cause you, we had that type of relationship, and you know me. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know what? He's making her feel like yeah. okay. I've seen girl. I've had girlfriends who like girl. I gotta make sure I put money down in this house because she wants to make sure that she's part owner of the house. She wanna make sure that she don't get put the fuck out. You see what I'm saying? He's not making her feel like I'm. I got you. You know what I'm saying? So that's messed up. Like when girls oh, do be yeah. paying half or feel like they, no, you know, whatever that's we have is up. ours. We built this, and that's why, like, I've seen people go into relationships where they own the house and the spouse move. I can never do that. We're gonna establish something together. So this property we've had outside. I don't of care if I ain't never put it down. My name better be on it. You know what I mean? What? We're gonna establish. At what point? We're gonna live and establish in this okay, house together. Okay, you meet, you date, and you put a ring on it. We're looking for the house. Is that what you're saying? That's no, but no. Or some, some people you meet him and he already had the house. Yeah, and you move in. And like you, you move don't feel in. like you have no stake. In, like I would never move into a man's house that he owns. Or what? We're getting married. We're married, and me moving into. Unless we establish, you are putting me on a deed or whatever, I'm not moving into your house. We like, have established a not, new union, and I feel like we need to establish a house together. And if he that said you need a, to put something down on it. Oh, yeah. You're not my husband. You're not my husband. You're not my husband. But the thing is, okay, let's say I'm in the guy. Because now, look here now. He done bought the house. He had the house 15 years. He got a hundred thousand dollars worth of equity. He got a hundred thousand dollars equity in there. I don't need my name. That's your house. That's my house. That's my question too. I'm not saying it's a brand new house you're about to buy. Because I had the situation before. My credit was fucked. I couldn't. You know what I'm saying? So I get that part. But I looked at it like that's. It's still hours. I'm not. And if anywhere something happened, God bless. You feel me? I'm not looking at that way. But if the person then had it, yeah, had equity already yeah. in the joint, just like your house. I we get married it. now, I'm moving in. No, now I'm like, no, I need my name. Be, this is my daughter's house. You understand right. what I'm saying? But what so, I'm saying is, but, that's right. but what I'm saying is like, 
that's your house. I wouldn't want my name on that house because you done already had it all this time. But I was out and I would move in. If you if you done protected and provide, you done covered me and you done scoop me up and you holding me up, yes, I am going to move in with you. But I only stay in there for a certain amount of time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I do want us to have our own stuff. This yeah. can be a rental house. Yeah. This can be yeah. something else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This our love, where I'm at. love nest, whatever, yeah. right now. And that but. can never be our house. That's right. Your house. Because mm-hmm. you don't have other kids in this house. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Mm-hmm. That would never be so, our house. I'm a triple so we have to establish that together. That's what I'm saying. That would be your shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you, you earned that. That was before my time. However, we have to, uh, now that we are one, we have to establish our own. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. No, mm-hmm. there was this. I'm just wondering that. Mm-hmm. So, have y'all messed up the relationship? Mm-hmm. Have we ever messed up the relationship? I have. Everybody's <laughs> We're women. Like, where I fuck up? I messed up the relationship one time. And I didn't know. Like, because I'm this type of person, I'm so detached. I'm, I'm like real nonchalant. And just because it's like I'm, I'm totally in this friend zone. And I don't be knowing sometimes when people be for real, for real in love with me. And one time somebody was and I didn't recognize and I just like did my flighty thing and I buzzed around like a little leaf in the wind and I looked back and the person was like really really Genuinely. heartbroken yeah mm-hmm. yeah it was messed up so I'm in that situation like oh <laughs> and it sucks cause you be it like it does it, it why hurts did I because know? Was like yeah yeah yeah, you're working through that. Nah, it really, it really sucks though, for real. When you know someone, but like I said, nobody made a commitment, and that person fucked up too. You know what I'm saying? The so, person is still my friend, and they still yeah, trying, but I'm yeah. like, it wasn't no commitment. What are yeah, you talking about? Yeah. All this time, you just not telling me. And, and if it's something yeah. that you, and a lot of times too, sometimes we want people, the people that don't want us. It's, it's so backwards. Just like I was telling you with, with this, this same situation. I'm like blowing up my phone. Whereas the one that I knew really carried and put the every nothing, silence, dead. You know what I'm saying? The people that we want sometimes don't, or that we pay attention to. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If we we be having shit all backwards. We want the people sometimes that don't want us and, and vice versa oh, and all that kind yes, of stuff. Yes, shit yes. be crazy. Life is crazy. <laughs> but it all works out. It all kind of settles out like sand on the beach. Yeah. I mean, but that's what reflections are for and stuff. Actually, now in hindsight, you can go back and say, you know what? This person really at that time was, you know, like X, Y. At the, you weren't there. But it was there a lesson. I got the lesson. Said, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I got the lesson. I- so now you know to recognize that, mm-hmm. hopefully. Yeah. You know what I mean? When it's in your face. You know, you know, and then as strong women, we got to also recognize strong men and going ahead and not sit down for them just because they're a strong man, but put some guards down, you know what I'm saying, and allow them to be strong men because I'm a school teacher, I'm a boss, I'm a mom, I'm used to telling people what to do, you know what I'm saying, and so I've had to kind of humble myself sometimes when I come across a strong man and I didn't know to do that when I was younger I didn't know because didn't none of them look strong to me you know what I'm saying I don't know maybe I was just being arrogant or whatever but I, I not through through those times where you're talking about losing or messing up the relationship I've learned to damn okay yeah let me chill out because he really probably could have sat me down <laughs> No, but in all honesty, too, you do. I've seen it in relationships where you have men that are jealous of you and where you are because you're such a strong woman. And they, even though they may appear to be that strong man to right. you, they don't feel like that. And they get jealous of the relationships that you have mm. and what they, even though your life might not be perfect, but to them, in their eyes, it may seem like you got all your ducks in a row mm-hmm. and everything. You know what I mean? Together mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. Because you have partners jealousy that are real. Jealous. Oh, yeah. You have partners mm-hmm. that are that jealous of your you. children. Oh, yeah. And that's some oh, crazy yeah. men. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, but don't you spot that and then use that as something you decipher through and just put them to the side? I don't think you usually spot that, like no. jealousy and relationships and stuff like That's that. That's usually it, hindsight. It, it is hindsight, yeah. Okay. You'll see, afterwards, you'll see that it happened in different types of ways that you never really paid attention to. So what are your tried and true red flags? It ain't really no tried and true. It, it might be There's those things that, something. oh, you think you perfect or you know No, how like when you're or, dealing with someone on the start out. Mm-hmm. Certain things you're looking for words or phrase or phone calls to start. Yeah. You know, well, how much attention to, you giving me? How you how I feel when you're like do I feel like you're protected? Do you provide? When I say something is wrong, yeah. how you respond about yeah. it? It's all of that. Now you, I'm talking, you looking Whether for the before intimacy, after. Or, I'm, no, before intimacy. I'm before looking for your phone. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, dang, I, I'm, I'm talking to you on the phone. I'm getting out of the car. I need to talk to you because my light is out at my, on my front door. And I'm scared, so just talk to me while I'm up. Babe, I'm going to be over there tomorrow to change that shit for you and fix that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If I feel like, you know, you that type of person who's always, like, listening and concerned about my safety and welfare, yeah, you know, keep that up. Because ultimately, what you're look, what people, what you're looking for in a marriage and in a partner is somebody to take care of your soul, mm-hmm. as well as your your physical outside three D being. You know what I mean? It, it's both, and a lot of times we go into marriage. So the protecting ain't necessarily and, financial because I heard no, one of y'all say something about you know if you, he can make less than you or whatever. It's not financial. It's I, protecting my finances because guess what? I might be so busy making the money I don't know what the damn do with it. You know what I'm saying? But you, I can trust you with my financial management maybe. Just like a Wendy Williams type person. Look, not, look I ain't going to use her as an example because mm-hmm. my husband's school her over. But, you know, sometimes mm-hmm. women are, like for myself, I ain't, I'm not going to say, okay, sometimes my friends have called me blonde mm-hmm. <laughs> or dingy or all that kind of stuff. I was a straight A student in school. I got book smarts. But I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I don't got all the smarts, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I really look for a man who can be that other part, you know what I'm saying? Be very, mm-hmm. I'm real like flighty. Like I'm like a little kid a, a little bit. I'm almost 45 and I'm still like a little kid. So I be needing a man who's really going to be like <laughs> big daddy, you know what I'm saying? Like set me down for real. I need a spanking. Like, <laughs> So well, well, it knows how to deal with you. That's knows make, how to deal with me. Right. And don't be mad and thinking that I'm bad or nothing. But mm-hmm. I'm just a little immature, mm-hmm. a little irresponsible. Here and there, look. <laughs> uh, do you recognize that, or in your other friends, where they're responsible? Like you be like, damn, she got her ducks in a row, yeah. or she got, you know. So that's kind of how you can see. The, I don't want to say lack, but the discrepancy in how I can say some. Of, I can see some people. Some of my friends got their ducks in a row, but a lot of them don't. <laughs> a lot of them all out here still. Nobody has their yeah, because your whole away. your whole friend married and she's still <laughs> running and I'm not saying, trying to I'm, have that conversation with old boy. It doesn't matter at what point in life you're in. You never have all your ducks. Not all of them. You always <laughs> gonna want more. You're always, you know what I mean? Like you're not always. Yeah, we we don't always. Have, we may have it together on paper, but not have it together spiritually. No matter what point you are in your life, you ain't never gonna have it all in a row. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's why and people be like okay. so shocked. Mm-hmm. You don't know this. You don't know the girl. I'm human. I know y'all think I know every damn thing, but I don't. Yeah. I know you think I'm. Yeah, know, and, I, and honestly, I get that a lot. That I'm a know it all. No, there's things that you can teach me too. The same way oh, I can right. teach I you. Can... Yeah, there's things I want to learn yeah. that I don't know about. No, I'm not a know it all. Please teach. There's a lot of things I don't know about. Even though I may be intellectually smart in these, like you said, book smart, I'm straight A's, this, that, and the other as well. It's just like, but there's other things that I don't know. I used to enjoy it as a teacher showing the children like because when we were coming up I don't know if you thought the teachers were like extra smart or something guess what y'all they got the answers it's right here in the book they ain't really all that smart you know what I'm saying (laughs) y'all could be just as smart as the teachers if you had these damn books you know what I'm saying so I used to try to tell the teachers I mean the children just like to just try to even the playing field like not to think like teachers are so grand you can be just as smart as a teacher baby just read that's all it is you know what I'm saying so we can learn from everybody I learn from my daughter all the time I I learn from my son all the time you know what I mean 
regardless of whether the lesson is a school lesson or a life lesson or whatever, we all learn from each other no matter at what place we are in life. Period. And a lot of people don't understand that. If you're not learning, then you mm-hmm. are dying, basically. But we live in that type of class of society where it's like, oh, okay, well, I'm better than you, or I make more money than you. That's just how we were socialized. You know what I mean? But honestly, I can learn from the poor man just as much as I can learn from the, 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 the rich man. Alright ladies, that was fantastic. So I really do appreciate that. So we're gonna try to see if we can do this more often, call it the relationship singles update status, the report. Yeah, the relate the so war awesome. report. Energy in here, but it's gonna get a little too loud. I can already see where this shit goes. Okay. Yeah, we gonna <laughs> we we formulate this thing because we're trying to try to ha- what's the climate out here and what's the not just tried and true but what's Accepted aloud, and what's the what's going on? You know, what people are okay to deal with. And like I said, I'm. It was just last week I was hearing that about the side girls being being uh, understood and accepted out here. I thought that was always going to be wild. A lot of women are more open these days to um, you know having threesomes and being okay with you know inviting that into their relationship. Yeah, even those things we didn't really. In some relationships, what happened is, I remember, I think, even at this story, we had this girl who was in a open poly relationship where mm-hmm. the two girls and the guy and everybody was, you know, living together, whatever, whatever, you know, like you said, it's about a, it's about an understanding of whatever, and sometimes the women, it's okay with, the two women deal with each other and right. they deal with the husband. It, it depends on your like, the dynamic and your understanding between you and your partner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's just different for everybody. Y- y'all got any taboos? Y'all don't. You wouldn't do the side chick, or you wouldn't let the him uh-huh. bring in yeah, another not, girl. Not in America, would not because you're opening. Um, I'm not gonna say. So I'm open to different things. Okay. But I'm not going to say somebody who is a regular or we're all in a committed um, like relationship type thing. For me, if that was a topic with my husband, if that was something that he wanted to do and I understood that, like I was saying earlier, we have to solidify our foundation first before we can start opening our lives to inviting other people in Mm. and even still there's boundaries with that you know what I mean I'm always going to be the woman not saying that she would be a like a but everybody has to understand their role Mm. you know what I mean and if you don't have so the, the foundation has to be set first and then that but other than that typically I live a I would want to live a monogamous lifestyle and throw in a little fun flavor, you know what I mean, here and there. Not a, like a total poly type relationship or no shit like that. No. I would not, I would totally want a monogamous relationship. I would not deal with any side chick type things. If I was to deal with a polygamous type of relationship, it would be a king who has already chosen me as I would hope to be first wife. But if I was another wife, I would have to have my own house, my own money and everything like that. And, you know, some level of respect, you know what I'm saying? I can't, he can't be like the type that's going to be like, you know, causing drama and friction between the sister wives and all that kind of stuff. Like it'd have to be some traditional, systematic, respectful type stuff. It can't be no man who's talking about, I'm living with this girl. And I'm business with this girl. Like you can't even take care of yourself. It can't be your one roof. Chick. One roof with everybody. You if can't have two. You got queen. wings. Like, can, can we have two kings in one roof? Are you okay with that? No, I'm, def- me, oh, so I'm definitely. Me, I'm definitely not okay with that. Why we having a conversation? Let's get on a conversation of brother husbands. How you feel about brother husbands? I'm not totally I, against it. Why? 
that's just my preference. I don't want no want. other dude in the situation. What? But Why you though? like multiple wives. I wouldn't. Not, I'm not opposed to such. But well, here's this. So what is? So a lot of people enter polygamy for economic cooperative. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you call it? Economics and living. Mm-hmm. A lot of that is so that we can take care of each other and live well. Cooperative. Yeah. So what's wrong with brother and husband? That if that is the nothing main, wrong if that's if, what someone wants to do. If that is the main goal in mind, so your your polymorous relationship is is it more so sexually based? Is it more so for economic? Ba- you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So what's wrong with having? Because I'm all for the brother husband lifestyle. All for God bless I can you. just see myself right now just lay it out. Oh, you want? I can see. I can see. <laughs> I could see myself I never even doing heard that. of that. Yeah, yeah, I definitely could because my so called stable or whatever, mm-hmm. they I imagine them all being Take my husband or you. whatever. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? But it was the yes, thing like it would, yeah, have to be, <laughs> it would have to be like because I don't enjoy the part that you're talking about having more than one partner at a time. It would have to be like taking care of you in other ways. Three months, every mm-hmm. quarter. I have to have four in one quarter. You know what I'm saying? Because like, but what if you have a consistent too? Like I'm saying, brother husbands. Like how you have a a, a Polly Morris, um, you know, relationship. Yeah. You have. We will work it out. Would, yeah, that's what I'm but saying. But I definitely know that there are men who would marry me, whether I had other men, men or, or not. not. I know that. So, but because I feel like once I have sex with one person. I just don't even want to fool with nobody else. So that's why I keep them all. The only way that I can keep them all is because I don't have sex with any of them. But once I start having sex with somebody, my stable, even though they're just friends, they just I just don't even have time for them anymore. I'd be totally consumed with that person. Mm-hmm. You know? But I'm saying you consume with these two because they take care of all your needs and every, I, I can every see wish it. that. Every I can which see way. It. But you know how you ultimately, I say that, I can see how people could love more than one person you know what I'm saying at a time because there's no one person that's going to give you everything everything. you know what I mean you get and that's just like you get different needs from different people and I think it's really male or female when people are able to do that in a systematic way oh my god just I can just imagine what I can accomplish, what empire I would build if I had this one, this one, this one, this one. You know what I'm saying? Look, can't wait. Speak it. Speak it <laughs> live. No, real rap. That's kind of how I look at it, too, as well. It's never just sexual because you don't have to get married or have um, a wife and say just with her. You can go do all of that anyway. I'm thinking with of friends. a structure. Yeah, yeah I'm thinking... We're all together. We're doing this, helping build this whole grand organization, Absolutely. and everybody's bringing some form of whatever, whatever to the thing. So, sex is a byproduct because the people got we got needs and whatever. So, are you so it's never no, no, no. Marriage? I'm definitely for marriage, and I don't believe in divorce. I'm that, that I'm like you married. You need to tough it out. The we'll argument. Nah, we ain't, we're not running out. No, no, no. We're gonna figure this out because we got to the point. We got married. So we gonna work whatever this problem is. We gonna work that out. I don't believe that's probably why I get married yet. Cause you know, I'm to me that's forever, ever. That's not that's that's a bond right there. When you bonding with someone, you you work through whatever problems that arise. But I'm not opposed to a team effort. You know, if you could lay, label it that way. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. that's what I'm saying was wrong. That goes back to the brother husband. Yeah, but you I'm not about to join no brother. Why? No. Because, you, because of your ego? Do you feel the Let's call it that. I don't no, know. Wait, no, I'm, I'm at, this is a huh? real question. This, 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 I got to really wrong. think. Yeah, then it's the, the, uh, yeah, yes, so it is. If you were in love with a woman uh-huh. and wanted to be with a woman, wanted to be a husband to a woman mm-hmm. who was uh, with other men, you just wouldn't. Nope. <laughs> yeah. But she took care of all your needs. They no. Know that she was, no. No. Because she, she's she, with him sexually. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Just the thought that she's with some yeah. other dude. I'm good. Well, well, I'm, wait a minute. You can well, have that. She wasn't with him sexually like that. She was getting her other needs from that dude that you I were got not, that. Say you, maybe what? you work too much. And this other dude takes her out and then do that, but you provide She's not for sex, me. She's just not for me. You do everything. 
thing. She's not for me. I might be for her in her mind, you know what I'm saying? But no, I, she's not she for me. No, she is for you. How so? However, because you chose to marry her. No, I did not. She's no, <laughs> no, 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 I did not. She's doing, but no, but my point is she's doing, she has all the qualities and everything that you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, and then once I find out she has a dude, so another dude. No, because the no. quality he's looking for is a girl who, although he's working so hard, she entertains herself. Or yeah, she's doing uh, yeah. She, so that's the quality that he's yeah, looking Yeah, she's she working have, on the team in her spare time, right. not, not some other guy. She's working on her team. What y'all uh, have? I'm not drafting no men for my team with the women with my wife. <laughs> we. <laughs> what I'm saying is a collaborative. So, because no, sometimes like, she be on her case. Let me tell you, she is. Yeah, exactly. No, you working it out. As a single person, like, so my big daddy, he he with all the shit. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So he's one of those where. Hey, oh, you got this nigga that's interesting you, and yeah, you know that he just want pussy, whatever, whatever. Okay, see what you can get out of him. You know what I mean? You have some men and some women that are okay with, you know. So what do you say? Go see what you can get out of him. Bring it back to the pot. Not necessarily, but you're bringing it into a community pot. You know what I mean? Not necessarily forming that type of relationship with that, with that man, woman, a person, or whatever. You know what I mean? But you know that this is home. You ain't going nowhere, and that's back to side chick. But we ain't no sexual relationship. You just using your mojo. Some people just use their mojo in this world to get what they want, whatever. So, for instance, like I had a dude that was with me, and it's kind of sideways, but still on the same topic or whatever. And he used to get mad back in the day that I used to get weed from niggas. And I used to be like, I'm saving us money. I ain't doing nothing but people like, well, why you can't pull up? Ain't no niggas gonna give me no way with you on my side because I'm with a man and a man is supposed to take care of me. Ain't no niggas gonna give me no way with you in my damn passenger seat or you driving or however the case may be. But why are you mad at me? Because I know that, okay, yeah, I might have a habit and this person... I might just have to sit and smoke with this person. They finna give me a whole fucking seventh or whatever, whatever. He ain't mad at you. He mad at the fact that he can't afford to give you the weed. What? And that's something that that's the underlying. That's, that's the, the root of that. But no, he can probably afford. Why should you even be out there? Cause he's not. That's like probably the root that's of that. Shit. But my thing is, even if you have the money to give me the weed or whatever the case may be, if you know that I'm fat, like. You know that I'm faithful. You know I'm coming back home, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And if I can monetize, finagle. finagle and monetize and finesse our situation for our betterment, we still might be well off, but we can be even better. You right. know what I'm saying? Let you do your thing. Yeah, Let I, me do my no. thing. And, and so I think that's what the world is. like. The world just has so many different situations and just different things going on. You know, you know I'm going to fix good. it so you don't need to be pulling up nowhere to do nothing. Come on now. So you, that's not even going to be a problem. You don't need to call him for Nathan unless you're trying <laughs> to call him for Nathan. You feel me? So anyhow that situation arises because you chose to go do that. It ain't going to be because I can't make it happen or secure you in any of your need. Whatever vice you got. Depending on what it is, we might need to work it out and get you off of it. But if it's simply some meditation and a right. and a and a and a bottle of wine, I'm sure we can make that happen. Where you ain't pulling up nowhere to try to uh, finagle and, 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 honestly, and smile. Went. Like I said, a platonic relationship. Cause I've had that. It was strictly a platonic relationship. Yeah, but I'm, it's a man ego have, thing. I don't need you pulling up with no right. other man to for him to be and thinking that. Is. Damn, you about to get this to go with your up? No, 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 dude. You don't need to take care of my lady to make sure. No, and I'm not taking drinking none of the wine she got but for you neither. But now it's vice versa too, because even like my baby daddy, he got women that be giving him shit, doing this, sending him money, this, that, that, and the other. You know what I'm saying? I mean. Are, and you partake you okay and you don't feel no type of way. I ain't partaking in shit because I don't partake in that. I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? That, that's oh. my story and we're going to stick to that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? 
But I'm not going to say Karen, it depends on what level you are in relationship wise. You know what I mean? But if, you sing, all but, agreement, but if you're a single, y'all that's what I'm saying. Like relationships differ who the hell you dealing with. You got to know your that's partner. That's the beauty yeah. of life. That's yeah. the beauty of this yeah. being a big old wide yeah. world. You're going to find a person that is exactly for you and got all your bells and whistles. And you're going to uh-huh. do the same. And I'm going to do the same. You know what I'm saying? Because... Hey, we got the yeah. choice as human. It's the figuring it out during the while y'all dating and talking whether this is in your criteria of what you're looking for. And then you, and have, you have to know your partner. There's a lot of people that don't know the person that they either that or they know the person that they're dealing with, but they choose not to. Yeah, choose to be naive. Naive about who they're with. Yeah, because it's that scared to lose stuff. You know what I'm saying? Cause if you, it's just like you throwing your line there. If you just put it out there, you might get the, you know what? It's over. Where you can't have that cake and eat it too. You gotta go try to make that new one happen. Mm-hmm. So you don't tell the old one, hey, it's almost over, or you don't fully ghost them because you you don't know how this one about to work out. Right. So it's that's back to the selfishness too. Yeah, you don't yeah, want to yeah. take no chances. On losing yeah, everything, yeah, so valid. you still you have to tell the you have to tell the new one about the old one, and you don't fully tell the old one at all about the new one, because that one probably been holding the bills down, helping on the car note, mm-hmm. all instantly now. Then the, that stop, and you don't know if the new one can bridge that gap that you wasn't bridge that you can't now, bridge in the first I place. My shit that's going good for my um potential. Hell no, fuck that. Yeah. No, you gotta make you sure that you have to be a special kind of dummy to do that shit. Yeah. No, yeah, that and then and then it just depends on too when we're dating what financial status we are in. Mm. You know, like when a man, I feel like a man, if you broke as hell, you shouldn't be dating. But the same <laughs> thing for a woman, if you broke as hell, you shouldn't be dating because you're gonna choose a man based on what he got. Rather than based on what he got inside, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I already know. Like, yes, a woman's needs are to be safe and secure. A man's job is to protect and provide. You know what I'm saying? A woman's job is to nurture and, you know, you know, fulfill or whatever like that. So we just have to, you know, choose carefully. Yeah. But I think we just so we're so damaged that. A lot of people are scared to be vulnerable. A lot of people are very detached. But I thought we said yeah. earlier we're more open to be vulnerable. We should be, but we're not. Okay. Like, honestly, probably about maybe about a year or two ago, I really had to pray to God, like, to learn how to feel mm-hmm. all over again. Not on some real shit. Not saying that I didn't feel. But I didn't feel. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Because I have been hurt and disappointed and abandoned, and I've had fears and so many things for so long that I never really, even though I opened myself to people, I really didn't no, open really, really, myself really believe to it. people. I didn't believe it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I really had to. Which was a good trait to learn. Yeah. But you know it's what I mean? Forever. But it's not forever. So when now I'm at the point where I'm learning how to balance both and to be okay mm-hmm. with my feelings and my vulnerability and where I'm at and whatever because I don't wanna be that person where I'm detached. And there's so many people out here in this <laughs> world that are detached yeah. from who they desensitized. are. Desensitized. Desensitized. Yeah. And there's and they ain't scared to cry, especially men, because y'all taught not to feel and to, you know what I'm saying? And But it's okay to feel those feelings and to work through those feelings and to know that whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen. But we're scared to fight through that and to have that faith that whatever is for us is going to be for us regardless of whatever pain, like that pain came out into my purpose, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. and I told you, like, I feel when I'm transitioning in life. It's like a gut feeling. It's like a, it's like a, I don't know, I can't explain it, but once you get to know your body and you start transitioning and stuff like that, like, mm-hmm. but it's okay to, to go through that and to not know. A lot of times where people fall off is because they don't know and they don't have control 
over the situation and where they get scared of. But it's okay to but it's okay to be in that place. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people don't want to be in that place. So we just detach from everything and that's why most relationships are fucked up and people don't even wanna develop relationships with people because they're so scared of X, Y, Z instead of guess what? Get back to that 17, 15, 16, 17 year old where you were vulnerable and you know what I mean? But now you have a little experience. Now you have a little, you know what I mean? Behind it. It's okay to feel. Yeah. You get what I mean? And to work through that. So that's that's just me personally where where I am because I got tired of being like that. Like, damn, I ain't doing that. Like, I ain't doing that. Right, that's what I was like, saying earlier. Like, you know? I'm so nonchalant or so, And I get that all the time. Mm-hmm. But it's, it is just because, and I mean, heard so many times, so hey, I was telling somebody the other day, okay, you know, they said something that hurt me or whatever, this is the mm-hmm. situation I was talking about before, and I was just like, okay, that's cool, but you know, this is when I messed up the situation, because mm-hmm. I didn't really realize this person really was so it's in love with me, I'm talking about they stopped eating, I saw them, they lost weight, I was like, oh, for real? Mm-hmm. I didn't, why you didn't fucking wait? All this time, like. You know, but anyway, and um, so, but now, you know, they they mad right now. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, um, like we mess up sometimes. We mess up, and you just gotta learn and grow from whatever mistakes that you've made. And being nonchalant was, you know, a mistake I made. Not being aware, you know, and um, yeah, you just gotta pay attention to people. Yeah. Now we have to learn how. To, it's good because it teaches us how to let go of things when we need to let go of things that's what the art of detachment is for but then we still have to learn how to connect to our feelings at the same time yeah. you know what i'm saying and it's finding that balance yeah. so a lot of times we go from naive and completely vulnerable to fucking detached and no nonchalant and no feelings at it's all it's a thin line but yeah. now it's the time where okay let's meet in the middle of both of those things. Exactly. I know That's when, maturity. when to put exactly. Yeah. So I'm at that space mm-hmm. where I am right now. You know what I mean? Sure. I'm tapping back into my feelings and you know what I mean? Getting to know myself and why I was the way that I was and you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't I don't want right. to be that detached not well, person yeah, anymore because I care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, that's good stuff. On the next episode. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, we gonna um. Wrap up. No, nah, we're gonna get into. Th- well, there's still yeah, time left on. No, there's still time on there. Record like forty minutes or whatever. But I no, I was just. Um, <laughs> yeah. What you got going on over there? question? No, not off my head right now. I was really liking what y'all was saying because as a guy, you don't really get this insight from women because we got our own tried and true thought on what we hear from. Tried and true because now you've heard all of our female perspectives. Remember, I switched it back on you to the brother husband. So the same same topic that we were talking (laughs) about, let's switch it to the male perspective. Now, I know it's only you, so there's nobody to really... You know, stand up with you or whatever, whatnot. <laughs> but then switch it on the other hand because a lot of times there's a double standard that y'all don't want to live up to. You know what I mean? You expect certain things or you want certain things, but on the other hand, or when certain things happen, it's okay for you to do it, but it's not yeah. okay for the for the other person to do it, which is which is not fair. Of course, we know that we as men we got. We know, we know that, so it's okay. Is that I, what you're that. That. I did oh, that. Oh, it's that, that no. way. The answer at the end of the day, no. answer no. No, we 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 got some built-in hypocrisy with it. You know, I know does for me personally, right? I, no, no, it does not. I don't want my woman <laughs> in an entanglement, <laughs> and knowing that I'm good, I'm cool. Anyhow, like I've had a girl I was dealing with, she was like, yo, I'm like feeling your homeboy. I like to entangle. Oh, and I said, okay, cool. You know what? I so respect you even saying that to me. Ooh. But let me go. So I introduced them Ooh. so that my homeboy wouldn't think he was doing nothing behind Ooh, my wait, back. But hold on. Stop right there. That is the touchy subject right there. I've had, have you ever had female friends that 
not necessarily you, but female friends that you know that may have either talked to somebody that you used to talk to or of a friend or of a mutual friend or yeah. whatever. I think that for me personally, I think that is so cold. fucking But trifling. in your situation, it was like she asked you. Yeah, she came to me but and she I, came to me with levels too. She was like, I, I'd like to introduce you to my home girl. Because I'd like to was, be introduced so to um, no me. I expect I write. I rather her be so real respect, than to I go behind it. my back, winking at the homie, right. and then the homie not realizing that, that, that no yeah, no, not knowing that he can come say, "Yo, she but, said but A B C or whatever." But you didn't deal with her no more after that. No, nah, we not. still was cool. Oh, I'm not mean like no, we still was cool because me and her had an understanding that we weren't in a relationship. Okay, gotcha. We were cool. We weren't. It's not like when she so told me that we were together. No, here's the only way no, I was no, thinking. No, no, I'm trying to explain it to you. Here's what I was thinking. It wasn't that we was ever going to be in a relationship moving forward. We were just cool, hanging out. I'd call, she'd call. We'd hang out, movies, whatever it was. So I didn't think it just threw me off guard that her realness or her proposition, because I never had a, some that happened. But I wasn't feel feeling like, oh man, I strangely enough, so no, not even just a little no, bit. it was intimate. Yeah, we was. Uh-huh. This is what I'm saying. So yeah, not we even was. A bit at all. Not even a little bit but where I was it. salty with her because I, I, I gave it a breeze it. off. Period. No, not at all. Because that's the only. I gave it a breeze off period where I didn't call her or nothing like that because I had to really see what was going on, whether what it was, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't like I was mad with her or nothing. I took her, we went to the, I, I went up, with talked to the homie. Her, and that's just me personally because, mm-hmm. for one, I, I respect her 100% for coming to me and telling me that. Mm-hmm. Um, I look yeah, at it like we're then, adults but, and we absolutely. understand feelings and emotions and but if then, we're adults and not in a relationship and she say something like that, I'm not going to hold her back because one, if she made up in her mind, it was going to happen. It was just whether my homie was going to say, oh, yo, look, this is what's going on. And I didn't want no issues where he think that, damn, if I do that, um, I, it's going to be not even a beef, but now it's going to affect even, our friendship me, or whatever. I don't even want it to be a potential beef. So even if you didn't feel, you tell me that you feel you don't feel a certain type of way about it, and I act on it. To me, like you said, it's a girl post. So like my homie, even though, okay, yeah, she came to me, and you already told her, homie, yeah, I used to smash, whatever, but she really feeling you, whatever, whatever. To me, that's still a bro code, girl code, whatever, whatever. Girl code like, is way different than bro code. Yeah, to me, yeah, it's a, they it's don't an, care a, about it's that a, shit, but for me, it's, for me, it's, it's, loyalty is a big it's thing. It's an for adult me. spoken code. It's like we but communicated, so and me and her wasn't in a relationship. It wasn't my girl, but my no, wife. Girls could not but, do but that. Here, what she oh said. yeah, my yeah. Thing, here's my thing. For me, girl, guy, shim, whatever, it's a matter of loyalty. You know what I'm saying? And especially if we fucked around in that type of way. There's so many men and women in this world. Why you got to fuck with my homie? Well, Why you got to, you know what I'm saying? Like, But, you but the heart can't help what the heart wants. And I, I just said girls can't do that. Girls usually don't do that. But they, but do. they could. Oh, they do. They, they usually do it sneakily, probably. I see. It's rare that a person is really that honest, though. I'm telling you, through me, I, I was, no, I, I was appreciative so of her being real with it. With it. School with, I'm not going to necessarily call them my friends, but I've had homegirls who I went to school with that I had seen don't do shit like that, and ask that other homegirl, "Well, hey, I know it didn't work out for y'all. I know you really didn't like him like that, or whatever. You might have mm-hmm. been using him, whatever. Do you mind if you know we date or what?" I've seen it happen, but for me, you really built up the balls to come and tell me. So to me, that's like, well, I guess maybe I'm possessive. I I feel like what's mine is mine, and I'm always gonna feel like that. I'm sorry, I don't know if it's because it's the only child in me, or if I'm just because I'm not jealous. I'm not a jealous person at all. You know what I'm saying? But I do think I'm a little possessive. I feel like what's mine is mine. Yeah, you're you know always I mean? going to take your and ball there, and go and home. And there is sharing to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. But yeah. as, in that type of way, I am. I don't care whether I don't even fucking like you no more. I don't 
care. That was once mine. And no, I don't give a fuck whether I'm married, dealing with the next person, whatever, whatever. Fuck no. That's my good friend, my best friend, my whoever, and my ex dude, whatever. That's just weird. You can't fuck with my shit. And that's just fucking weird. Period. And that's how I feel about the whole nigga shit, too. Like, there's so many people in the world. Really? That's what you want? You want our leftovers? And I'm not saying it like that, like leftovers is bad. Because it'd be, because real, it'd be real flavorful the next day, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, but it's just like... There's still some leftover emotions there nah, while you feel that way. Though. No, it's not. Because it's you not did, if you were alone, able to do it alone control. and detach... I'm telling you what okay. it is. I got control. Okay. Okay. All right, then. That's, that's why I said it's, gotta it's be... my possessiveness. This is what I'm telling All right. you. I feel like that. you're. I've worked hard enough to make you mine. You was motherfucking mine. And it's just how I feel. And that's even with my friends, my female friends. I'm, it, it's not just restricted to uh, loving relationships like that. You know what I mean? Right. In that type of way. I, I I don't mind sharing, but there's the sharing goes to a certain extent. <laughs> no, I'm just So saying. you want those girlfriends to be like, that's my best friend. Mm-hmm. I don't when my best friend got another no, best friend, no, there's a problem. No, I have a best friend that's like that. No, I'm not. I'm not her like that. You know what I mean? I don't. Right. I don't mind. That's what I said. I don't mind sharing to a certain extent because I know my position. But now, when you try to sit here and cross lines and boundaries and you know what I'm saying, things that I because now I'm looking at you like, okay, so when I was fucking with him, was you always looking at him right. like that? You know what I mean, like. That's so now, so now I got the, but not even with dudes. Mm-hmm. And dudes trying to try you all the fucking time. They might know that they serious as fuck with you. Them niggas is still going to try you. I've had that happen 10,000 times. Them niggas is still going to try you. Guys will sit up there and look at you, give you the eye, do all this kind of stuff, and just see if you're going to make a move. But if you don't want to make a move, like I've had that happen. Like I'm, I'm dating a guy, mm-hmm. and I've a uh, guy friend or two of his might be giving me the eye kind of like trying to try me or whatever mm-hmm. but and one of them was fine fine than my dude mm-hmm. like and i really did and it was the beginning of the relationship i had just met my friend he took me around all his friends and one mm-hmm. of them was looking so good like i was like dang did i pick the I wrong, pick the wrong one? <laughs> <laughs> but me and my loyal self i'm like oh well i already don't pick this dude so mm-hmm. i just stuck with him he's cool with everything but yeah but it's just a lot of respect so even if i know that I've dated you in the past or however, whatever, and we have that type of relationship. Now, 10 years down the line, we're going out as friends. There's still a level of respect. I'm not going right. to sit here and get this guy's number in front of you and we out here hanging out. But I'm not going to do that because I respect you that much and I'm loyal to you that much. Yeah. Then I'm not going to do that. It's just weird as fuck to me because... I, I value what we have, so I'm not going to do that. Now, that's a different story with I was in the bathroom and he made me come out the bathroom and you're not right there and, you know, mm-hmm. I see him or whatever. But that's not, regardless of whether we're just friends or not, I'm here entertaining you. I, I'm not just, I'm not going to do that. You know what I mean? I'm right. just not built like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's boundaries, it's respect, it's, it's all of that because I would expect you to extend that same hand to me, even though we're not like that, we've been like that in the past or whatever. But just as far as like you know, friendship and out of respect, you know, you do that shit on your own time. You know, we're spending time together. Yes, we're just friends. However, mm-hmm. you know, but I'm still not gonna just put it in your face like exactly. Oh, we because just, you know, you know what I mean? Let's say your friend that. dated a guy and it didn't work out. They both gone on with their lives. They don't even talk no more. Da, 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 da. And then you meet the guy later on. And maybe y'all, it's the right time for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Would you not date a guy just because? That was my kind of question to, to her. Because she's so your adamant. Your friend is in a different she, city. She adamant. Your friend I don't know. know. I it's the, it must be Because that. I have that loyalty and that love to my friend. Even though my friend might have said it's okay, deep down in her subconscious or in her heart, it might not be okay with that. Girl, if even, that's my soulmate and he about to and set me, me down, she gonna have to understand. <laughs> I, that might be a temporary emotion at the time. We don't know. You know what I mean? You're yeah. just acting off of that. But no, that's my friend. I feel and you. I ain't gonna, and I ain't gonna core, do that. I feel you. I ain't gonna to the core. That. And a and, uh, little caveat is... <laughs> Yeah, but that's just me. That's how loyal I am to a friend, whether girl, guy, whatever. Like, 
I'm not gonna do. It's so many people out here that I can meet. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing but that one your, though. Your leftovers is not not for me. He wasn't done yet. Nah, but he it's hasn't been cooking yet. But, after, but in my head, it's always gonna be your leftovers. Like I can't do that. Is he ever gonna go one? Is he using me to get back to you? So here goes the situation. I have a hunger right now. Mm. So she, um, I got a couple of homegirls thrown at the be in some antagonist or But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so I got a homegirl. She's single, and so, um, she, so another classmate of mine, um, we meet up and we go out for like dinner and here and there, whatever. So she met, uh, this dude that was invited to one of her get togethers. So, I guess come later on down the line and get together, they end up exchanging numbers, whatever, whatever. So she gets to ask him, well, what's your involvement with, you know, with such and such? Because it's her friend, you know what I mean? Yeah. So she, he was like, well, I used to try to, you know, um, get with her or whatever, but she would never pay me any attention. You know, she called her, paid me to the left, whatever, but we're really, really good friends. They've had a friendship for maybe like, 12 years or, or more or whatever. So she's been married twice or whatever. So that's the situation, right? So then she asked the friend, well, hey, what's your relationship between you and this guy? So the friend's answer is like, well, he's really in love with me, but I haven't taken it. You know, I, I ain't really, you know, we're not, we're not there or whatever, whatever. So she was asking me, was it okay for her to still date the guy? You know what I mean? Should she tell her, you know, our friend that she was dating him? Mm -hmm. Or not my mind, dude, she's married, going through a divorce, she got her own shit going on, whatever, whatever. But what I told my friend was her response in what's y'all type of relationship? She said, oh, he's in love with me. You know, people be thinking a little too highly of themselves sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it was her response that made me feel like, okay, you would, that's a touchy situation. To me, that was a red flag and that was a no. Leave that nigga alone. Even though you know she married and had two kids with this other guy and she's had two, three other relationships while she's been friends with this guy, you mm. know what I mean? And this guy so-called, she admit, admittedly tell, told you that Okay, at one point he was interested in her. Do you really think that's okay to really date him like that? I do. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though she said she don't have no feelings for this guy, this guy's in love with her, and then the guy's like, well, no, we're just strictly friends because, you know, I tried back in the day and whatever, whatever. It's just like, uh, nah, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even put pedal in the water. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And to me, just all them type of friend relationships, or let me get with you, oh, I, oh, your friend kind of, oh, you're not fucking with him no more, that, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a but messy. It's a messy situation, and there was a topic on, on the radio about that. So this girl used this guy as like a little sugar daddy or whatever, so she, he was her going out guy and taking care of whatever, whatever. She ended up moving out of state, having another dude, but her friend knows you know, her friend used to hang out with them together and he used to, you know, do stuff for all of them, whatever, whatever. So she ran into do after her friend moved off and, mm. you know. So the topic of the conversation was, is she wrong for forming a relationship or continuing a relationship with the dude? The dude, or should she not, or should she just leave him alone? Yeah, she shouldn't have did that. Well, I don't know. I don't know because. Because, but here, so the friend situation was like, well, I know he was just a trick, a trick, you know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. And you don't move on, so now it's my turn, you know what I mean? Like, I like him, oh. not my turn, but I like, oh, yes, but I like him yes. like that, you know what I'm saying? I like what he can do, because she, she is yeah. a trick, he's still a trick, but, um. It's a fine line to me, it's like, at the end of the day, it's always going to be, that's why I'm saying I'm possessive. That is always gonna right, be my fucking trick. I just put him on a motherfucking shelf. Right. Like, bitch, back, back. Don't, don't touch nothing I don't touch. And that's just how I am. Okay. <laughs> call me selfish. No, call I me um, Blessing whatever. Me, that's why I said like that situation. I respect a woman all day for being upfront and telling you that. 
But my homeboy's reaction, even though I told him it was okay, because honestly that shit really not about me, but I told him it was okay, I'ma see how you move, and that really tells me what type of people that I'm really dealing with that I got around me. Why so I looked at him, I didn't trip on it because method. I never, you know when you're dealing with someone and you know that it's not gonna go to relationship, or you know marriage ain't involved in there, you know that's just not. what the nature of y'all relationship was, so it never even... You talking about dude or the girl? Her. I knew we were just cool, right. so it would never. I, I like never felt dude. no type of way about what I don't she said. Her. What I'm she said. About who are you more loyal to, her or the dude? The homie. Right. But so my hold on. My point is that if that's the homie, regardless of what the dude said, it was okay or not, and the girl came on to him as the homie, it'd be like. Nah, you gonna dead no, that. No, the homie, the homie was in a was in the in the limbo situation because what the fuck is the limbo? no, he was gonna have to make a decision because she was in the circle where she was gonna have opportunity to the wink and bat an eye, and then the homie was gonna either come to me and be like, "Yo, she winking and batting eyes, what's good, homie? Is that your girl or is that but someone I can holler at?" So it was like... gonna present itself some way, shape, or form. Hold on, mm-hmm. so I. Eliminate all of that and just say, listen, homie, um, she vibing you and anyhow, you know, she's hollering or let you know or anyhow she, you know, she approach you or what have you. That's don't fine. don't but think that you're going homie, behind my back or I'm anything saying, like I'm, that. I'm saying that as the homie, he should have so, refused the girl correct. and show loyalty. But she never approached that, him. I went to him off the rip. He's and, saying and, that him and the homie got to understand that this is yeah. how they roll. That's how they right. roll. No, the, I, I went to him before she even mm-hmm. approached him or whatever. Once she told me that or what have you, I went to him and just let him know that. So it would even seem appear natural, normal, or whatever. Right. I went to him so like, look, honey, no it, it ain't no problem. Exactly. But even still, some, me personally, who I am, right. even though you told me that it's okay, you go for it, right. I don't you feel no trick. <laughs> I, no, I'm, not even necessarily it's a trick. It's just in my mind. How I'm set up, how I'm wired, yeah. I can never do that to you. Even though I don't care how many times you tell me it's okay, okay whatever, whatever, I can just never do that to somebody who I fuck with. Yeah. Period. Okay. Now, if I don't give a shit about you, okay, right, 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 right. I don't give a shit. I, if I, I know, know you, you like you, that, if I just know you, right, and I fuck okay, with you like right. that, that's a but different But if you my story. friend, yeah, I can't do that. Like we done hung. I that's different. That. That's different. He said he the homie. Right. The homie not going to When do I get that. my scenario about the girl or whatever, that I would, uh, uh, if he going to sit me down, that's if I just know her. But if she was my girlfriend, no, nah, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't even look at him. I couldn't right. even look at him like that. You know what I'm saying? If I don't see you with my girl like that, like, no. And even if she was just friends with him and it wasn't like that or whatever, it still, I just still can't really, like, or. They were friends and say like they maybe fucked off once or twice or whatever. It's just still lines and boundaries that I just still can't. The way my mind says, I just still can't do. And then there's a certain level of detachment and nonchalant yeah, I behavior in, in myself that mm. would allow me to do it. Mm. To do it. To, to a girl who I just knew. I wasn't that close with you. Shit. Mm-hmm. And I really, really like him. I wasn't that damn close with you. Yeah. You know? I, I, so I just, I, in my bones, I just can't do I just feel like it's so many other people out here in this world that we're connected to where we're supposed to be and whatever. It's not, it's not my friends. It's dudes. It's, it's just not. Right, not, not a friend, but just a girl. Yeah, did I know? I'm just sorry. I can't. I can't do that. No way how it's set up. I just can't. So you met a dude, y'all started hanging out with Woody and it come to find out your homegirl knew him before. What you doing that way? No, let me tell you, I got a situation, right? With Amir's dad. So I cut him off when I was in college. So I knew him since I was 16. I cut him off in college for a little bit or whatever. And then the Cooper was working at, um, um, the club over there by NBK, whatever, I forget what it was called at that time. Oh, uh, Mr. V. Mr. V, but Figure Eight. They had mm-hmm. renamed it to Figure Eight at the time, so they reopened this Figure Eight. So I went there, and she used to work at the door, so I used to go, you know, just up there to support whatever. So I met this dude up there. And we, very intellectual, we started kicking in, whatever, whatever, taking me out on dates, whoop, whoop, whoop. 
And then one day while I was up there, maybe it's probably about a month, month and a half, two months in, I heard working there. Um, I realized that um, Amir's dad was um, friends with the DJ who used to be up there, and I ran into him or whatever. So we started kicking it, you know, at that point, whatever, whatever. But then come to find out that the new, the dude who I met up there initially was friends with the DJ who was friends with Amir's dad. I cut the whole relationship. I don't, it didn't even matter how well our relationship or what we had was going right. at the point at the time because there was a connection mm -hmm. in that whole thing. I didn't want to be involved in my loyalty because I knew him first. You know what I'm saying? Or however the situation was. I cut the whole thing off because with men's ego, I didn't want his dude to be saying, oh, she fucking with, with you and fucking with, you yeah. know, old dudes, you know. I cut the, I dated the whole fucking situation. That reminds me of like when I was in high school, like I would not date two guys from the same school. I don't care if I was in the ninth grade and I, I didn't dated date no guys from my high school. If I was in the ninth grade and I dated one guy from Douglas High School, nobody else from Douglas High School can get it. The whole time I was there, I'm going to have to go to Thera, May, somewhere else, but I ain't nobody going to ever be in the same room talking about two dudes mm -hmm. to be with me. Like, yeah, I, I just, yeah, yeah. I couldn't. And, but, and that was my ideology of it. So that's why I cut the other, because he was new and he was fresh and I had a history, you know what I'm saying, with this dude. Yeah. So I cut him off. And actually, he was really the better dude to deal with, you know what I mean, than him. But because I had that loyalty to him, I would never make him feel that certain type of way in front of his friends or whatever the case may be. And that's what I did. I, I cut the whole thing. I cut my hand. I, I really could have had a good hand with that, you know what I mean? Right. But because of who I am and my loyalty and shit like that, I did that shit once. Once I found out, I did that shit one time. I don't know. To me, the loyalty was just to let them know if y'all do y'all, I had no issue with it. You not doing nothing behind my back. I was 23, 24. I'm you know talking I'm about my, that um, situation now. I was. Um, I just yeah. Yeah, let them know. Look. Yeah, I, can't, I couldn't do that. I, I wasn't even going to let that go. I wasn't even going to say it was okay because that shit's not okay. Yeah. Right. I don't give a fuck. I'm going <laughs> to see what the problem was. I look at this with adults in this universe. I wasn't not in a relationship where I'm not stopping your flow, his flow, none of that. Well, they could have met, had kids, and the kids changed the world. Whatever the case was, that was with my girl, my none of that. Right. I just respect her realness that she was, and I like when a woman is 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 I, open I, and I honest and things like that. I like that. But you didn't have no loyalty to her. Who? You had your loyalty to the homie, so that's why I feel like. No, my loyalty sure, uh, to her is to make sure she good whenever we go out, whenever no, the, I'm like we had an understanding of, huh? Are y'all we friends to the day? Yeah, uh, I talked to her a couple weeks ago. What about the homie? Who? Oh, the homie. Yeah, I haven't spoke to him in a while, but that was not a reason. Well, I mean, no, it wasn't, that's none of that. I'm not oh. the good <laughs> it's ironic. Right. Like, I'm not the good looking stripper. 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 Like, I'm Anyhow, we meet today, it'll be still cool. We'll be like, damn. Nah, I said the homie like that. Huh? You still the homie like that? To this day, because we never you fell out. You said like that, or you still have the level of trust. We never and fell out, and there was no, no it, distrust. There's, there's the, not, well, not your second part of the statement. Bro, yeah, yeah. it's just time and distance. Oh, okay. It was never no distrust. It was, even after the situation, because mm -hmm. they did entangle. We still wouldn't have, we saw each other was like, we just kept the conversation the same as it was any other time without, we never even brought it up for one. I guess that's what And I we still bit kept the conversation creature. cool like like it, just, it didn't happen. I couldn't let that fucking shit happen. I'm so sorry. Nah, I just looked at it different, man. I wasn't, it wasn't my girl. We're not in a relationship. I like her realness by saying, look, damn, I, you I know, the homie, you woo, 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 woo. I, and I agree. I didn't want to stop nobody's flow it's the that way. Part that I don't agree with. What? The homie. The homie. What about it? What part? I don't agree with accepting the advances. Accepting the advances and, he, and, and he, following through. He accepting it, you think that was no, because if I come to him and I say, Oh look, my home girl, my I mean, friend is vibing you. Like, so I, when she do approach you or wink her eye, bat her eye, 
don't feel no type of way about winking and batting your eye or waving to her and then like, y'all linking and doing whatever adults choose to do because you're not doing nothing behind my back. I don't have a problem with y'all vibing. As long like as we have the, the understanding that we I spoke like about it, a, a suitcase, that's the... A suitcase that was left in the middle of a parking lot with a million dollars. It's like, is this a trick or is it... Uh, or is this really modern, you know what I mean? Or is it a blessing? You know what I mean? Like, I I don't I don't like playing that 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 game like that, and I and I don't want to play that game on either end. You know what I mean? As the homie or as the other person, like, I, I'm just wired and set up a little bit differently that I just nah because now I know that a hey, I'm not gonna bring this girl and or this homie around anybody who I deal with. No, nah, and I'm just being real. I never thought that because you know he can always. I look at it like this: if she's not for me, right. with her, whatever happened, I, as long as I found out, that's good because it wasn't for me. If it was for me, it would work out without that ever happening. She would have never had those feelings or thoughts if she was looking at me like we was in a relationship. She would have never even had those thoughts to even come say it to I me. Mean, you know what I'm saying? That. I so that I, wasn't for me, so that I couldn't part, look at it no type of way to feel something. Who are you so loyal to, him or her? You know what I'm saying? So I, I just look at it like that, and that's just. My I don't see how the loyalty comes into play in that scenario. Because who was being disloyal? Her? We weren't in a relationship. Who's being disloyal? Him? We yeah. weren't in a relationship, and she spoke her intentions, and so I don't see no disloyalty. I just feel his so he should have been like, no, man. Uh, no, I, I mean, even if she did it then, and he wanted the fuck, but it's the acting on it, the follow through. That's what I don't like. Like, what was the problem? Me. She's the problem. The problem she said that we weren't clear. There are two people in the world. The only difference was me and her met, and we're not moving forward to no union and bond. But as a homie, I was like, oh, my homie. For me, my homie done already. Oh, well, you know, there's her. 7 billion people in the world. That's so there's going to be somebody going to feel oh, yeah, exactly. I'm just yeah. telling you how I think. Yeah, no in worries. In my mind, I'd be like, oh, she already done fucked with a homie. You know what? I don't even want that. You and then look at it like this, too. Then, when you're young, you do young things. And then you get yeah. older, you mature. You be like, you know what? And as, as I'm older now, I wouldn't involve myself in that so that was like probably young people having fun at the time because he was younger than me too anyway he's probably like a good 23 I mean, I, 24 I or something like mindset, that like where i am right now right, 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 my, what, my, my two propositions is that i don't think at the age we're at now we gonna no, run into those okay. no, we have no i like that have that mentality yeah but i rather the like, openness i rather the openness day, of it know. though i rather the openness of like a, B, C. I, to me, that just make more sense anyway. Yeah, and I know exactly where to put your ass. I ain't bringing you around nobody. I fuck with you when I fuck with you, how I fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? But outside that... It, it's, mm -mm. I look at it that I, way. I if, I, if, if you bring somebody around and they sneak into your partner, or they, no, that's something totally different I from... I don't know whether you sneak or not. To oh, me, to, I don't know. I mean, I respect you for coming to tell me, but... And uh, nah, I don't. I just don't rock like that. I don't rock like that at all. I, I'm, I, I'm loyal. Yeah, and everybody's different. Everybody got their own perspective and was raised differently. And like, I'm yeah. just saying, in terms of the loyal, disloyal. Don't put it on this scenario. I know what you're speaking about. Where you, where you would say loyal, disloyal. There was nothing in this. I don't think she was disloyal at all. She I'm actually man. like, yo, she 100 in my book because you know what? She spoke her mind and she was like, this is how she I feel. Real. I like that. So there was no disloyal on her part. I like, I, I, I respect I her for real. I like I said, I spoke to her last week on some week cool type. What's up? How? What's going on with you? Literally like, yeah, no problem. Man. Never, And we never even brought that up. And that was so many, many, many moons ago. And you know, when you talk to somebody from back in the day, you know, they'd be quick should, to be one to rehash and bring up some more. No, no why would what? I? No, it's so funny because, so as me going through these little life changes within these past couple of weeks, I've actually run into people, well, I've run into situations and there are people 
where we may have fell out or I stopped talking to them or whatever, whatnot. And they've actually brought up things that has happened that we have discussed um, and discussed where we at now and why it happened, how it happened, and just the understanding of it all. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times we sweep shit under the rug. It might be minor, it might not be, you know what I mean? But we had a discussion, right? It was so fun. But sometimes it's okay to have those discussions to see where, because we grow. And just to see where people are at at certain points of their life. Because now she may think about that differently, you know? What? That she was, <laughs> nah. Cause really, what what she could think of different? Cause we can't backtrack. No, what she would have been like? I wish I ain't said I liked your homie. She she might feel that way because she might. Be she might eat, like that. What if she you hurt my feelings saying? and be like, damn? I wish I never met you because now the homie wouldn't look. Didn't look, and I well, liked well, him. It can go both ways. Yeah, that's, no, I, that's why we best that's left what alone. I, well, that's not, what I'm saying though. Even bringing up that discussion, yeah, I would have. No. You don't know what she might say. She might. Yeah, just, she I think might we just say that. She might say, you know what? I was wrong back then to tell you this that I wanted to fuck with the homie because now I see who you are, whatever, whatever. No, I, don't, I no, really want to I rather fuck. left right where it was. I dash you because now you see that she was open enough to tell you and she was looking at your homeboy in that type of way. And now you don't see her as that type of woman. No, I never know? saw her that way in the first place. That's why I, I didn't have no... Uh, no. But, um, I, but what I'm saying is she may have a different outlook on the situation yeah. or how as you viewed it. Uh-uh. I, because I like we it all right live where it was. Right through different lenses. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Nah, I like it right where it was, especially looking at her as a hundred. Because be I had that situation it. happen too where it may not have been nothing, but now all of a sudden this person came in this line, I'm like, uh, mm, no, yeah, no, 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 we ain't like that, me uh, ain't been uh, like uh, that, you know. Uh, uh, like that, shit, that shit happened too. The irony of life is funny. Yeah, yeah. It, no, it really is. Are you falling asleep when I come in? That's it. <laughs> but that was good. We're gonna keep it up, and um, it's like nine minutes left on the thing, so I didn't want it to just end without a like a wrap up. So appreciate y'all coming out and you know sharing your thoughts and feelings, and we're gonna do this again. Absolutely.